Let's get to the word. Lord, we give you praise. And we also want to celebrate as many people who have come to write for you and me. I think we should celebrate them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Acts chapter 3. Blessed be the name of the Lord. On my way back home, I was just thinking all through the journey. Um, I was recounting on God's faithfulness. Please pay attention inside and outside. And um, I was just thinking through what the Lord had put in my heart to share with us tonight. Your dominion in life is a summation of your comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom I've said this again and again and I want us to please pay attention every gate can be opened if you have the key not if you want it opened gates only open when you have the keys desire is not enough to bring you to the place of destiny and breakthrough and so as we keep coming week after week I want you to realize that there is a transformation that is happening and that transformation is happening by the power of the Word of God the Word of God not only gives you knowledge it translates you to become what is saying and it empowers you to demonstrate the reality of what you claim to know any truth that you have and you know that cannot be demonstrated is not yet a revelation in your life hallelujah and so i want to challenge us that our passion in this place we must keep our passions high even as we seek to press to know him and to understand his ways i give you a guarantee the bible says they are alive to them those who find them not everybody will find them they are not life to christians to those who find them and health to their flesh ah kenny it's good to see you hallelujah and so i want to share with us a few things that will challenge us because it's my desire that the least of us will be as great as david in the name of the lord jesus christ knowledge is like an atmosphere it commands possibilities in your life it's not about trying it's either it is there or it is not hallelujah are you blessed already so make sure that you are learning constructively the goal is not just to carry out a service. You know that we have no business with religion here. The goal is to empower you. Praise the Lord. Come promise. Look at this. Please bring your what you are holding. Come. Watch this everyone. What is he holding? What is he holding? You are holding a book. You are aware you are holding a book. If I try to convince you that you are not holding anything, will you agree? Is it an issue of prayer? You are, this is called reality. You are holding on to something that has become a conviction. Please listen to me. This is not something you are trying to believe. This is not something that is subject to debate or the opinions of men. See, the degree to which your you become stable in the kingdom um, your stability is proportionate to the depth of your conviction whenever you are not convinced about the reality it's easy for you to drift either when it does not yet produce results or when there seem to be conflicting opinions the apostle said but I know whom I have believed I wasn't just told about him I know 
he says and i am persuaded unshakable immovable that revelation has become a conviction for me and i stand upon it this is what god is doing with us bringing us to a point where we are convicted that you know that you are holding something you are holding something that you can take to the world and no devil no culture no system no limitation no gate can stop you it's not just a prophecy it's a resultant effect of paying attention there are some things when you hold on to you have entered your sabbath it's not if it is when it will come is god speaking to us now thank you acts chapter 3 the bible talks to us about the activities of the early church please pay attention jesus had resurrected the bible tells us in acts chapter 1 how that he was with them for a period of 40 days teaching them on the matters of the kingdom he was helping them to be grounded in truth are we together and after the holy ghost had come in acts chapter 3 the bible says in the hour of prayer they were going to pray and then they saw a man he was begging for arms he had been there at gate beautiful and the bible says this time around when peter and john came peter looked at him and he made a very interesting statement in verse 6 chapter 3 of acts verse 6 and peter said silver and gold have i none he says but what such as i have the question is at what point did he know he had it because there was a time he did not have it is that true at what point what was the evidence that what happens to a man to know you've had something are you getting what i'm saying now he said such as i have i give i have something and i'm not only it's not just i am aware of it and it can be dispensed i have it i know that i have it i understand the dynamics of his operation and i can release it to you he said such as i have i give and he said in the name of jesus christ of nazareth rise up and walk let's see what happened the next verse please watch what happened he says when he said that the man was still sitting he didn't stand up he was still sitting and the bible says his sitting was not going to sway peter for peter to say i'm not sure again peter said i know i have it whether you don't respond it doesn't change my persuasion such as i have you don't know the activities that sponsor my conviction your refusing to act is too small to shake me and he held his hands because he knew he had something and he was insisting i have something and when i speak to you there should be an effect and if there is no effect i insist he says such as i have many of us seeing that man seated would have quietly moved away for the shame that is lack of conviction you you think you have something now a man stands before you and challenges your conviction and at once you chicken out but peter said no way i know i have it you are just meeting me you don't know who else i have met you don't know the 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 revelations that support my audacity i know i have something and the man was just looking many people have told me to try standing up and peter said you don't know me and the bible says he held his hands he knew he had something that revelation persuaded him enough he stood before that challenge and would not be embarrassed because he knew it must work hmm. is god speaking to us he says and he took him by the hand and what and lifted him and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength to validate that he had something to give listen peter would have looked at him and said well john you too you saw i tried we did exactly what jesus said oh god please don't be embarrassed after all we didn't collect money and he would have gone back that would not change the fact that he had something but it was not released peter said such as i have 
I'm not only aware, I understand that it is supposed to be dispensed. And I refuse to allow what I am seeing to influence my convictions. He says, but I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded. Not confused. Persuaded. The problem with the church is lack of persuasion. The grounds upon which our audacity is standing upon is fragile. We don't take time to establish conviction upon kingdom realities. We're in a hurry to get Rema. We're in a hurry to get revelation. We're in a hurry to get knowledge. Let me tell you something. The world is ruled by men of conviction, dead or alive. You don't respect a man because you believe in him. You respect a man because of consistency of conviction. When a man becomes unbending, he, he commands your respect at once. That's why we cannot pretend that Boko Haram is a force to reckon with. They will be defeated, but their convictions are strong. Strong unto death. Are you getting what I'm saying now? The only reason, the only reason why faith is an issue in the church is because our convictions are small. Hallelujah. And so when we sit down like this, as the word of God comes, it gives us understanding. It not only tells you what you have, it explains to you the dynamics of it. So that you get to a realm of persuasion. When nothing can shake you say amen. amen listen pay attention to what I'm saying because life will challenge it at any level ask any leader life will challenge your convictions from head to toe and the gates will only open when you prove that you merit it opening not everything in the kingdom is a gift there are things that are rewards rewards for consistency rewards for persuasion hallelujah are we together when the holy spirit comes please listen when the holy spirit comes upon a believer at new birth i want you to know that the coming of the holy spirit in every one believer that gives his life to christ introduces the presence of God to that man's life. A presentation of the presence of the Father. The Bible tells us again and again. Is that true? So when the Holy Spirit comes, listen, comes to live in you, he represents the presence of God. And with him, Kabbalah Kataya, is a measure of God's ability at work in you. Everybody say God's ability. Say it one more time. God's ability. Say God's energy say God's capacity when the Holy Spirit dwells in a man his presence comes with a measure of God's ability at work in that man now whether or not you know it whether or not you use it is a different thing but that is the truth because scripture cannot be broken are we together now so when the Holy Spirit comes he comes with a measure of God's ability this is very interesting because the kingdom was designed never to function absolutely by the strength of man. Listen, the changes that humanity requires cannot be effected just by the, the strength of man. It cannot just be effected by intellect. It cannot just be effected by kindness and charity. It takes more than that. It takes an ability that is supernatural. It takes the ability of God to bring transformation, not just preaching. Do you know what it means to speak to a man and just by speaking, make that man change his ideologies? An ideology that he has hold or he's held through for decades and then in one meeting you speak and he's persuaded enough. It's called utterance, not oratory. Oratory is the ability to speak well. You learn that in school. Utterance is the capacity to communicate spiritual realities. 
on the strength of God's ability such that the listener is able to enter into your experience that is utterance it's not oratory what we have in church is oratory but we need utterance it's a gate that gives you access to the ability of the spirit to persuade men such that they subscribe to the value system of the kingdom are we together so the ability of the holy spirit that brings it that divine life many christians jump and about having the divine life but we do not see the evidence of that divine life that divine life that dwells within you and it comes with a measure of the ability of the spirit if you do not recognize that there is an ability of the spirit that is at work in you you will rob yourself of the capacity to function like god god gave us his ability so that we can produce his result listen listen only god's kind of result can bring change and impact in our world only god's kind of result can bring blessings only god's kind of result can bring lifting only god's kind of result can bring transformation if you're with me say amen god's ability that's what we call power that's what we call the anointing the anointing is not oil the anointing is god's energy his very ability we define power in physics as what work done per unit time energy expended that's exactly the definition of the ability of god his capacity when god wants to do anything he depends on his ability and so when he sends you as his ambassador he gives you his ability god's ability say it again god's ability one definition of frustration is to try to achieve god's kind of result with your ability you will see how crippled you look in life say after me i have the ability of god how many people have gone to seek people out of zeal and kindness you are sick sam in the name of jesus be healed by their ability they want to see god's result but they are conscious of their ability no it is not given to man please hear me it is not given to man to produce god's result with his ability how many pastors and churches are frustrated because they are trying to get growth they are trying to get this and, and all kinds of teachings it takes the ability of god shout it god's ability listen listen i'm telling you this don't just allow the scientific world fool you the realm of the spirit controls the physical realm it was james the apostle that told us for as the body without the spirit there must be a spirit component to everything for it to work i don't care what it is if there is no spirit component it is there there must be a spirit component to business there must be a spirit component to your academics there must be a spirit component to marriage i love you i love you is not enough there must be a spirit component there must be a spirit component to anything that we do the problem is many times we ignore the spiritual side because we think it is not necessary oh my goodness oh my goodness how helpless a man is brothers and sisters how helpless in the face of this cruel life there are gates on every mountain there are giants on every mountain it doesn't take stories to move them it takes the ability there are devils standing on the gates of your finances it takes the ability of god why do we need the ability of god is his power to effect changes listen change can never occur until the power of god is present in a place any kind of change the ability to effect change from healings to miracles to soul winning to transformation it is entirely dependent on the ability of god
there are so many people who try to do evangelism sincerely from their heart but there is no ability how many times have we stood in the face of situations that honestly demand the touch of God but we know that we are short of God's ability God gave you his ability so that you can truly produce change the Bible says in John chapter 15 it says herein is my father glorified when you bear much fruit so then shall ye be my disciples God wants us to bear fruit but it takes an ability an ability higher and greater than yourself are you getting what I'm saying now? the second reason why we need the ability of God is to be able to produce supernatural results please write it down supernatural results if your results are natural the world does not have space for you the 21st century does not have space for natural results the minimum standard in our world today is a supernatural it takes an ability of God for a mortal man to produce results out of proportion hmm. the Bible says they were astonished when they saw Jesus Christ and they saw the kinds of results that he was producing let me tell you something don't ever allow anybody preach you into thinking results do not matter in the school of greatness only God sees the heart men can only see the outward appearance please are you hearing what I'm saying don't ever let anyone fool you it's God that can see the heart you can die with your good intentions if you want to influence men you must let your light shine not let your light glow it must shine for men to see not angels God wants them to see it it is in the seeing that they become persuaded therefore permit your light to so shine before men that they may see your good works and as a result glorify your father John 17 verse 1 Jesus was speaking he said now the hour has come he was speaking to the Lord he said glorify now thy son to the end that thy son will bring you glory so the only way God is glorified is when we are glorified our glorification is a means to an end not an end in itself it gives God the opportunity because no man can praise himself you need another to praise you it's against the law of greatness for you to praise yourself when you praise yourself it's called arrogance when another man praises you it's called honor hallelujah so we need the ability of God to produce changes there are people here who are sick it doesn't take stories we can shout and jump around and just make a lot of noise when they tell your dad in the office or your mom we are going to fire you brothers and sisters it takes the ability of the spirit to change it when the landlord tells you tomorrow if you cannot bring your money you are out it takes what the ability of God the problem is this we have ignored the ability of God in the church we believe in God but we have ignored his ability that anointing that agency of the spirit that empowers men to produce change and to produce result this ministry by the grace of God is a testimony of God's ability the ability of God walking through men and I want that to become your testimony from tonight that tonight you will give up on just trying to get things happen by your strength when you depend on God's ability you will see results that are out of proportion praise the Lord tonight is a very simple teaching until the ability that is within a believer is released he can never be a blessing to his generation I want you to know this until the ability that is resident within a believer is released not acquired not gotten your being anointed does not make any meaning to your generation until that anointing is released the release of that ability is what brings about blessings 
the bible says no man lights a lamp and puts it under a bush no man does that but you the purpose of lighting it is so that it can give illumination and direction so until the ability or the anointing is released the believer can never be a blessing you only become a blessing when you allow the measure of god's ability in you to find expression in your physical world the bible says and the word became flesh and did what it now dwelt among men and they beheld the glory they could never behold the glory for as long as it was in the realm of the spirit but when it became flesh shadrach it's good to see you i'm happy seeing my people praise the lord the word became flesh the anointing that god has given you when it translates into wisdom that men can relate with when it translates into creativity that men can relate with when it translates into dunamis power the capacity to produce change here and now then christ is glorified otherwise we'll keep talking a lot of stories that which is resident within you must find expression for christ to be glorified are we together now now the problem with many of us seated here is not that we are not anointed it's not that the hand of God is not upon our lives, but that inability to understand the dynamics of expressing the ability of God is what has crippled us. And so we stand before mountains we can walk over and yet we cry before them. The reason is because we have not come to a point where we realize that the ability of God is at work in us. Moses, listen, Moses stood before the Red Sea. God did not add anything to him right there there was the ability to cross over but he was afraid when he went back god just said why are you coming to me i gave you a rod the word is in your mouth tell the people to move forward he went back and did what he would have done in the first place do you know that many times when you go to god most of the things you get from him is comfort because actually you have the ability to do what you do but just because our psychology is built around just hearing something from god and so god said it is well now go and then you get up and go you would have done that right away are you getting what i'm saying now you're going and that reception of comfort was just to encourage you but all the while the ability was within you when he appeared to gideon in the book of judges chapter 6 when he looked at him what did he call him oh thou mighty man of failure but gideon was hiding there was no special impartation service he just said gideon what is going on ah, gideon said god you too you know what is going is happening and he began to tell him how that he was going to go and defeat the midianites there is an ability within you i'll never forget the first time god told me this thing listen it's not enough to know god is mighty this was a song that gave me that revelation you know this song lord you reign forever lord you reign forever i worship you years ago i was singing this song i worship you this was the part that changed me you reign you reign you reign you reign that's you talking to the lord and i heard it very clearly like a man singing back to me this was what i heard you reign cause i reign you reign cause i reign you reign this is what god is telling me back he's responding to my worship and saying son it's not enough to know i reign there's no confusion about that the trouble is here on earth so reign because i reign now that you are aware i've told you you are like me i expect a legislation that is consistent with what is happening in heaven that way the kingdom comes it's not enough to say lord i know you are reigning what is happening to us here we are dying keep reigning let's keep dying no no it says thy kingdom come thy will be done where in the earth not in heaven there is no confusion about order in heaven the confusion is here so he says rain and it gave me an understanding not just this thing people jump around i'm a king i'm a king and one die like a fool you jump based on knowledge and revelation see you can have something and you can take it anywhere 
believe me i know what i'm saying a man can have something and you can hold on to it and run with it that's what god is speaking to us he reigns so you reign he reigns so you reign so he expects you to legislate ah. listen listen a man called St. Patrick. Have you heard about St. Patrick? A man called St. Patrick. The son of the king had died for six months. How many months? Six months. They had buried him. And he was, he was bringing a lot of catastrophe. And that man called St. Patrick walked straight to the grave and signed his name on it. St. Patrick. And they opened it and dug out a human being alive. It's in history. Men who knew they had something not independent of god listen with god all things are possible i've demonstrated it for you here come promise can i use you again with promise all things are possible without him some things are no longer possible but with him the word with god here means in partnership in partnership that's why we call it koinonia in partnership there is an ability you and god constitute an unbeatable team have you watched wrestling how they can beat somebody as if they're passing him through a meat machine and then on the other side his colleague is there bouncing and saying touch me show that you 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 are weak but we're a tag team is that true if you win we share the money together if you lose we lose together it's a partnership and so the holy ghost is standing and telling you look look you have been going around this mountain why don't you come into partnership with me there is an ability within you listen listen there is an ability it's called energies the greek word is energies it says now unto him philippians 3 uh, uh, 20 unto him who is able he has an ability to do exceedingly abundantly far above all we ask or think not according to his might according to the power that works not in heaven in you in you the possibilities in your life are dependent on activating the anointing and the ability of the spirit within you and so like the wrestling someone lifts his hands and have you seen the way people touch the other i mean they almost have no strength and they touch somebody else and he jumps in and plays nonsense with the one who has been beating his colleague and wins and then he holds the guy who is a team together and they lift the belt together he doesn't leave the belt and say you when you are tired stand up and walk home he lifts him and says we won listen i'm bringing you into a revelation that your victory starts from the standpoint a consciousness that with you and the holy ghost never do anything outside of the holy ghost you will fail it's not a prophecy it was designed to happen that way master we have toiled all night but in partnership with your word let's go back and watch a miracle are you hearing what i'm saying now prophet elijah outside of the holy spirit he could not say anything he said look guys you want prophecy from me i can't move my human ability cannot do anything but play me a mistrial and the moment they began to play when the holy ghost came upon him he said now i have something to say fill these ditches with water you may not see wind you may not see rain yet the valley shall be filled with water listen that is not yet possible in your life does not mean it is not possible it's amazing how a challenge can be killing you and somebody will come and pass it as if it does not exist there is an ability that sponsors that audacity and i want you to know that if you are in christ that ability is within you there is an ability i walk conscious of this every time i go to minister i walk conscious of this and the lord walking with them and the holy spirit walking not just in joshua selman but with joshua selman there is a partnership it's a koinonia we're inseparable it's like the a salt covenant 
where I am foolish I trust his wisdom where I am confused there is strength when I stand before a sick body I know I am very aware I'm intelligent enough to know that you cannot squeeze out cancer from somebody and it disappears at once I'm smart enough to know that that cancer is matter it has weight it can occupy space but then when his ability comes Shabala Katayaba hmm. when his ability comes that's when the difference see listen don't trivialize what I'm sharing with you this is your recipe this is your key to unstoppable unstoppable exploits in the kingdom the ability of the spirit thank you let's take a few things I want us to pray let's take down a few things you must allow the measure of God's anointing within you to find expression and produce testimonies in the lives of people just two or three things I'll say again and then we'll pray God's ability in a man can grow and it can increase the ability of God that is resident within a man can grow every living thing grows God's ability is alive and so it can grow that you have received a measure of that ability listen listen the ability of the spirit in a man is like currency let me explain to you something please look up please look up who has money somebody give me money 1500 thank you watch this if this is 200 naira how many things can 200 naira buy 200 naira can buy a bottle of minerals is that true can it buy wine but is it money at least he can buy some things are you getting what i'm saying now let me explain to you something about god's ability god's ability in you can only solve problems that are within the range of the dimension of that ability anything higher than that measure watch this that measure cannot be solved although you have the ability listen 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 i want you to get this the ability of the spirit the anointing of the spirit at work in people is in levels and there are possibilities that are activated within that level and that measure are you getting what i'm saying when the measure of god's ability is at work in you every problem every giant every mountain that is within that range of power will be solved but everything higher than it will remain an obstacle get this revelation and you will see the reason why although you are anointed some things have not changed praise the lord are you getting what i'm saying now thank you just like this currency watch this this is 200 naira it can buy wine mama put you can eat something with this now yam and, and akarankose watch this i can eat akarankose at mama put with this comfortably with dignity can this take you to a five-star hotel the restaurant but is this money so what do you need to do if you want to go to a five-star hotel increase the same thing not a different thing increase a measure of the very same thing are you getting what i'm saying listen that you have a measure does not mean the challenges in life respond to measures of the anointing measures of graces don't let any man fool you that the moment you have an ability it can solve every problem it's not true those who talk those things have not worked in the anointing believe me i know what i'm saying this is what i work in every day it's like a range when you upgrade on the level of the anointing that's why the bible says he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my feet but I got to a level where that would not be enough again. Then he had to measure a thousand cubits and the river increased. And it was to my knees. Are we together now? And then he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my loins. Then he measured a thousand cubits and it was an overflowing river. And he said everywhere that river went, whatever was dead came alive. 
there are different levels of the anointing the ability of the spirit so a mountain can jump and leave and you go to another mountain and you can be shouting everything you know and the mountain steers you there are sick bodies that we may struggle around with in many crusades in Nigeria and those sick bodies can be there let Benny Hinn step in just two songs of worship I guarantee you not he has not even if he's talking about relationship it doesn't matter he can even teach on how to be a nice housewife and while he is teaching see the anointing does not care what is happening it whenever he sees a need and a demand for it it flows there immediately are you getting what I'm saying now so God's ability in you responding to a situation you can have a challenging issue that looks like a mountain and someone comes with the ability of God and brings a dimension of wisdom you never thought of and dissolves that thing in one minute and it's over case closed the ability of the spirit that was what happened to Daniel they were about to slaughter them and kill them and he said ah, ah, why is the king hasty in this all these people have tried their ability he said please just give us time and the Bible says in the night the secret was revealed to Daniel and he got up in the morning and answered the king same thing happened to Joseph see how men took their generations by the ability of the spirit Joseph did not become a prime minister because of interpretation of dreams Joseph became a prime minister because he offered a very serious supernatural solution to the problem if he had interpreted dreams they would have said okay we have had you please um, water go and lock him up and he would have just gone back highest they would have given him a day off and he's back to the prison but he was smart enough in addition to the dream he said i know this, the answer this is what we should do and when he said that look at him i love joseph he said oh king find a man he knew there was no man find a man check around don't trivialize my grace find a man if you can find another man with it no problem and the king said is he not here we kept quarreling asking people to come and interpret the dreams where can we find such a man That's why we worship the Lord truly because there is nobody like him are you getting what I'm saying that's the reason why we worship him we love him searched all over couldn't find nobody I looked high and low still couldn't find nobody nobody prayed Nobody better know. Nobody better than you. Listen, there is something the Spirit of God will do to you that this song will become for you. No, not just for God. I want you to always be conscious of I. God can give you a territory. My brothers and my sisters, I want you to listen to me. God can put something upon your life that will make. Let me not go ahead of myself. That you come to a point where there is something in you without any show of pride you know it's not cheap and you know it's not what you find by the roadside listen when you explore the ability of God in you from border to border you will enter your Sabbath experientially I guarantee you hmm. the Bible says now there remaineth a rest for the people of God Hebrews chapter 4 right and he says let us therefore labor the word labor there is content even as unto death to enter that rest for he that has entered that rest has ceased from his works there are two ways the ability of God in you can grow number one is by revelation 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 grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge grace and peace be multiplied through knowledge through knowledge the word knowledge there's the word translated epignosis a comprehension of truth that makes the person who is knowing it and what is known become one not just awareness 
is actually the word that is interpreted intercourse so grace and peace is multiplied through knowledge hallelujah revelation when light comes to you then you will arise the bible says they that sat in darkness they have seen a great light great light arise and shine isaiah 60 he says for your light is come not your light is around the light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you he says is one revelation god gave me watch this please if you are if you're a minister of the gospel here let me share with you a secret please look up money does not make a great ministry are you hearing what i'm saying don't let any man fool you money does not make a great ministry it is impact that makes a great ministry and supplies finances financing ministry is a product of impact are you getting what i'm saying now impact and this is how it happens when your light starts shining gentiles will come unbelievers drug addicts all kinds of people will come kings will never come to your light when you become consistent and you keep growing it will start attracting brightness and excellence is a language there are those who know how to speak it the moment you start speaking their language they will come it says gentiles shall come to your light there is a level of ministry where all you see are gentiles people who are coming to be saved those coming to be sick somebody dragging his trolley of problems and coming to dump it and then you have to work on it but the time will come as your light begins to become bright like the day kings will start coming kings don't come to your light they come to the brightness the brightness of your rising and when they come like queen sheba they will not come empty-handed they will come with their bounties they will come with their blessings the wise men from the east when they saw jesus christ they came with gold they came with frankincense they came with man they came to honor him every time there is brightness it begins to draw certain kinds of people so there are many men of god who are trying to look for money they are trying to look for money because they think money makes an impactful ministry what an error it doesn't work that way money is only a reward money is a receipt for doing something right we've learned it here when you get money as a man of god is a receipt just like you buy something the receipt means you have paid for it not you will pay for it the receipt is an evidence that something has been done not is being done not will be done but the problem is we trivialize the ability of the spirit in us how many of us have looked like gideon and felt that there is nothing within us oh there is that great man of god there there is that great woman of god there and we forget mary was there standing and an angel appears to her and says blessed are you women among this and that and that and then he told her that she was going to carry a child and she said how shall these things be in other words naturally this should not happen seeing that i know not a man and the angel said something which is key for us this night he says the power of the highest that's how it happens the power of the highest shall overshadow you how can i be the last born in my family and yet i'm the one god will use to wipe the tears of people he says the power of the highest there is an ability of the spirit that can come upon you the second key to growing in the anointing and in god's ability is impartation 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 is a transference of spiritual virtues transference of spirits transference of possibilities a man who is a possessor of a dimension of possibility can share it like you use a candle to light another it is a possibility in the spirit that's the character of the dimension of god's ability called dunamis it's an ability that is capable of being reproduced listen i've said it again and again 
a true leader does not maintain followers a true leader reproduces himself and turns followers into leaders if joshua selman remains a superstar and an anointed man everybody keeps clapping i have failed from the world's perspective and from the perspective of mediocres we keep clapping but let me tell you something god's dimension of measure or his index of measuring success is not just by the crowd we have inside and outside it is the individuals becoming a replica of his grace and anointing and his ability god measures success one by one he doesn't measure success by a crowd thank god for all of that it's an evidence of the hand of god but if we are to sample 10 people at random and engage you with spiritual challenges and see how you are able to navigate through the dynamics of the operation of the spirit it is a true measure of the success of this ministry the ability to be empowered and carry that conviction and go and begin to produce results around your sphere of influence and i insist that it must happen to you in the name of jesus christ so impartation and revelation write this down very quickly the channels for releasing the ability of god the ability of god must be released please burn this into your mind i'm being very simple tonight because i want us to have this basic understanding before we pray the anointing the ability of the spirit must be released for people to be blessed by it it must be released it's not just the obtaining of the ability of god but the dispensing the release of it that's what brings blessings to people god's ability god's ability is working in me is working in me god's ability god's ability is working in me it's working in me it's god's ability god's ability is working in me is working in me sing it with me god's ability god's ability is working in me is working in me and so when a mountain stands before you and you carry this ability you will move with audacity humanly speaking you should chicken out come on but i love david david stands with a sling conscious of an ability that is bigger than him and goliath said am i a dog i know i'll kill you but at least respect me come with knife as if you are fighting a man and david said i will not i will disgrace you let me even tell you how i will kill you this is what will happen this sling will hit you and i will remove your head it's god's ability when you see men do supernatural things brothers and sisters i want you to know it's god's ability what you see happening tonight is god's ability the energy the very strength of god manifested as wisdom manifested as power manifested as faith manifested the, the ability of god is what we call grace whether grace to become or grace to do is all called grace and it's god's ability that's what makes men champions that's what makes men wonderful people is the ability of god the ability of god is like a programming it's like a software when it enters you you are infected there's nothing you can do about it the moment you carry it your environment begins to respond that's the treasure that we have in earthen vessels it's not about the vessel but the treasure and god designed it the only way you benefit from the treasure is to carry the vessel along that's the reason why when a man is anointed 
you don't bring out the anointing and keep him you carry the man too as you honor the anointing you honor him when you bless the anointing anointing cannot eat is the vessel that eats it as his benefit for paying attention he's working in me look at the bible full of people who took advantage of this divine ability if you get this one thing i'm teaching you you will change your life in a remarkable way hallelujah play this mic aaron sent me a text before i came here pastor and um he sent me a text and said man of god i want you to explain to me what exactly happened in portacourt and then I looked and he said I was going to talk with him. I shared my Portacourt story. I shared it here, right? Pastor, he came from Portacourt. It's a land of greatness and a land of plenty. Listen, I was going to Portacourt and all I had, watch this. Although God has corrected me recently because I've been running my mouth saying things. I've grown now. God has corrected me recently. In one of my retreats, I've been corrected. So I will update my curriculum because i keep saying all i had was my bag that bag was a seed i know the kind of faith that brought that bag that bag was a seed i remember dragging that bag and the ministry was about this size then everybody and they were all escorting me as if they were going for a funeral and that was how we went to the park that park in um that park on your way to kaduna just this one yes that Kwangila Park and they dropped me there and I was laughing they were pity because they knew aside from my bus fare all I had left home and abroad in terms of monetary value was 800 naira and I was going to a land I had never gone to but I did not like the woman in 2nd Kings chapter 4 I forgot that I had an ability I kept looking at my rickety bag and all of this listen I dropped at number 23 Quarry Street around to 2 in the afternoon. When I dropped there, I knew I was stupid for sure because no right thinking human being would do what I had done. And I stopped there, 800 naira. And I knew it would be foolish for me to try to look for a hotel to stay. So the closest thing was at least to finish up the 800 naira and eat something with it. So I went to one my mother was sharing something and watch this one thing i knew was that i was going to reign in that land i didn't know how to describe it but i knew there was an ability sometimes you need to come to the end of your road to now find out what you have been calling spare part whereas that is all you need second kings chapter 4 the woman lost everything the husband used the children as collateral when everything had gone the prophet said what do you have in your house he said nothing except and he said you call it except the vessel is only the oil is small because of the vessel that took it not because it is small when you expand capacity the oil will increase with it he said the oil is much it's only because the oil was housed in a small vessel borrow vessel enlarge your capacity and when that woman did that she became rich with it so i went there i'll never forget when i was eating the holy spirit just sent a signal to my spirit and i found out one of my friends that used to live there and i called him and i told him i'm here this and that and that can i come and stay for a while and then i came i went to the house and i stayed there listen my money had finished let me tell you what happened i was broke there was i mean things were bad then his sister was sick when his sister was sick i wasn't happy that she was sick don't misunderstand me but at least i was comforted that something <laughs> listen undertakers are not happy that people die but at least it is the make <laughs> are you getting what i'm saying now and so when she said she was sick i prayed for her when she was healed she came with a seed of 1000 naira listen that 1000 naira was what i used to buy my suit to do my first ministration the suit was not what you sell around 
the suit was this kind you see this kind that they move around with it you just call the man listen let me tell you a secret it's better than many things they hang around nobody will know it's only you that will know ah oh yes are we together now i remember my friend in abuja calling one pastor in port Harcourt and say a mighty man of god is in town and he said all kinds of things about me and the man said and then it happened to be that the man was from my state watch this no 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 play that thing i'm going to sing this song a lot this song we started that's our special number for this night that god's ability song listen god is my witness when i took a bike to go and see the pastor he hosted us and another person we ate in his house and then he went to go and introduce me to the church as soon as i stepped into the building my eyes were open and i gave the pastor three prophecies three prophecies in the church are you with me three days after the prophecy the first one happened 0.5 million came into the church the overseer said call that man he's coming to preach on sunday there is an ability oh, it can open doors when all else fail Makata Labada. yes many things in life can fail don't trust them the real capital in your life is the anointing that one is fail proof certificate can fail internet can fail brother when all else fails reach out deep down God's ability God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. Listen, I went to the church. I bought the suit with the money. I can't remember how much. Dress looks smart. You will never know. Because I, I refused to. I knew that my present was a thing I just had to manage with. In my mind, I was light years ahead of my present. So I wasn't embarrassed by it. Because I knew my physical reality will necessarily, necessarily become my mindset and my perspective. When I went there on that Sunday morning, it was a Sunday morning, I was on my way to come and they sent me the message to preach. They said I should preach about vow. I said I fasted for three days for this opportunity. And you are now sending me the message. God had already given me a word. Listen, the man with the church was a prophet. He doesn't come out until after the service when you finish preaching he will now come out and do his thing when i stepped in and i looked at the people i'd never seen a congregation of people who were that demonized and um there was you know we are used to we write our songs in zaria right so it's very difficult to sing these songs outside because we write our songs we receive them we compose them and i didn't know the kind of song to raise because uh, I wasn't used to all those songs. Our songs, you can be humming for 30 minutes. You don't do that there. There was one song that I remember. Now is the time for the new anointing. Gird up your loins and be ready. Every yoke of bondage surely must be broken. That was a song I raised. My goodness that meeting that meeting was something else it was it was it was an amazing meeting you can imagine the things that god did after that meeting i had honorarium i ate in the house of the pastor they took me to another place you know how they are they are not like the not here that ignore your grace till you die <laughs> right there once they see grace they celebrate it immediately it's not in the notes that they'll just look and say can you help me no they know how to am i lying pastor come on now they celebrate grace very generously and so we went there and from that meeting they said two weeks after the church was going to have a convention and i was going to be their major speaker listen from that time it was one meeting after one meeting after one encounter after one encounter after one encounter after one encounter and within six months my life had changed changed in a way i didn't even know where i was coming from again it had so changed the road had deleted behind me never to return there again 
that's why I never forget his ability when all else fail today I've stood before kings I've stood before politicians none of my certificates have brought me before these people but an ability of the spirit are you hearing what I'm saying so don't ignore it especially for some of you who are in school read your book but don't fool yourself the world we live in needs an ability of the spirit needs an ability of the spirit let's finish up mm. the primary channel for releasing God's ability is your words 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 where the word of a king is there is power Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2 and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me the spirit entered me when he spake unto me the spirit entered me when he spake unto me an impartation a dispensing of that anointing he said and it set me upon my feet listen there are people sitting now hearing me you will stand up from this meeting and it's like something will suddenly rise within you and you will say i know i may not be any other thing but i'm anointed i may not be any other thing Kabalakata. i was teaching the school of ministry students and i taught them no matter what society says you are not they may be right but they are wrong when they say you are not anointed they may be right they may say you are not fine it may be true they may say you are from a background where the map of your village was not added when they were you don't even use gps to find it they are right but if they ignore the anointing they are wrong the anointing will make nations follow you on their knees and it will be a privilege for them to receive of your grace you will be standing surprised while they are saying thank you God's ability is released through words. Number three, your hands. Listen, please look up. I know that many of us have ignored our hands. I want everybody to look at your hands if you can. These hands. It's working in you. God's ability. God's ability. It's working in you. He's working in you. Listen. These hands you see, brothers and sisters, a hand is a mystery in the realm of the spirit. A hand is not what holds people. That's why the Bible talks about the right hand of God. It talks about the hand of God. The hands are also doors in the spirit. They are channels for releasing the anointing. The work of a man is done through his hands. When you realize that there is an ability on your hands, it will bring upon your life creativity. It will bring upon your life innovations. You will do things through your hands you will never believe possible. These hands, these hands can open the gates of nations to you. These hands can bring kingdoms to their knees. These hands can swing the two leaf gates of your destiny open God's ability God's ability is working in me is working in me brothers and sisters you are getting blessed right now because I am speaking you are not hearing English some of you, you don't even know what is happening to you as you are listening to me. You don't know whether you should sit down, whether you should stand up because there is an ability. My mouth is a window. It's a window revealing the realm of the spirit. It's a window communicating the secret place. Something is happening to your spirit as you are receiving. This is not a lecture. This is not a lecture. It's an ability. The power of the Holy Ghost. It's working in you. <laughs> He's working in you. It's God's ability. God's ability. 
It's working in you. It's working in you. And so as you speak, the opening of your mouth is like the opening of the portals in the spirit. And you begin to speak. As you communicate those realities, you are changing people. They don't even know what is happening to them. They just know that there is an activity. It's not English. It's not oratory. It's called utterance. 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 It's by the ability of the spirit. It's not a lecture. You are changing men. You are using words to bring them in into an experience they cannot explain the ability of God walking in a man and so the spirit enters you the words come with fire the words come with illumination they do something to your spirit man it's like light some of you sometimes you don't even know what you are receiving you can't tell what is happening to you it's like hammer it's like fire you can't tell it's an ability it comes help that many please it comes from heaven an ability of the spirit god's ability be sensitive i sense the anointing of the holy spirit already moving we're going to pray it's working in me that's what I want you to become so anointed so full of his ability the Bible says even God who quickened the dead and uses his mouth to call things he uses his mouth to make things happen that would not have happened the prophet said by this time he was not revealing he was creating it wouldn't have happened his words created it is working in me listen many of us have been speaking it's time for us to be communicators of light and power it's time for us to be communicators of divine reality i see the angels of the lord pouring what looks like oil on people this is what i see it's like an anointing coming on people strong anointing of the holy ghost god's ability it's an ability it's an ability of the Holy Ghost that the opening of your mouth is a gate in the spirit working in me working in me God's ability is God's ability it's working in me it's working in me shake a tabala da baba baba God's ability is God's ability it's working in me it's working in me sing it with me everybody God's ability God's ability is working in me. Shaba baba la kata baba la baba. It's God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. Listen. Listen. The third way the ability of God is dispensed is through the instrument of your atmosphere. Mm. Listen, when you carry the ability of God, that ability creates like a spiritual electromagnetic field around you. Anybody that comes within that atmosphere, possibilities just like many of you are under this atmosphere right now and then sicknesses will leave just by themselves without any prayer there is an ability of the spirit when Saul came into an atmosphere where there was a principality called Samuel the atmosphere affected him and the spirit of prophecy fell upon him when the ability of God is at work in you, your atmosphere has prophetic implications. Your atmosphere has prophetic implications. It's 
working in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. God's ability is released by faith. You release the ability of God by faith. Let me explain to you what I mean. The ability of the spirit, listen, is released on the strength of conviction. Your persuasion about who God is and what he has put in you sponsors your audacity to take action. Action based on that consciousness is called faith. We've taught a lot of dogma about faith. Faith is nothing based on just human asset. Faith is the name given to the action you take based on your persuasion of who God is. And then the Bible says, and the Lord walking with them, confirming the word. Listen, the anointing of the Spirit is the principal capital in your life. Please hear me. Action that is based on your conviction. As action that is based on expectation by the ability of the spirit so your hands you expect that people will receive impartations this is how it works brothers and sisters there is an ability in you there is an ability in you you must know this there is an ability in you it's, it's not it's not about some gimmicks please this is not even about falling down it's called the mystery of godliness where god can dwell in a man so your body is like a puppet they are seeing you but there is another agency at work it's called the ability of god that's what will make you a wonder men will keep looking when they think they have exhausted you then you come from another dimension because you are connected to a supply that is eternal not bounded with time no fatigue is not bounded to the limitations of this system it's the ability of god the ability of god reproduce again and again and again and again it's not about trial and error. You can gain mastery in the dispensing of his ability. Yes, yes. Strong meat belongs to those who are of full age, who by reason of use, they have gained mastery. It's like fighting. God's ability. It's God's ability. He's working in me. That's why we can tell you to come for this meeting and we can guarantee that you will be blessed. Yes, we can guarantee not on the strength of the flesh. There is an ability. No man's hardness can stand it. No matter how stubborn you are, it doesn't make any difference because when he shows up, the Bible says the voice of God upon the waters is mighty. Listen. This is what happens in the teachings. There are many people here who have come from other places and they cannot explain what happens to them when they listen to these teachings. It's not so much about the revelation. There is an ability in it that compels compliance. It's called anakazo. It's a Greek word. It's the compelling power of the spirit. It is with that ability that we can prophesy over your life and your job and it will change. Listen, it's not just saying change, change, receive. And all those things are garbages. What is the ability that sponsors it? For I am a man under authority, he says. And on the strength of that authority, I tell one, go, and he will go. I tell one, come, and he will come. How can cancer die? God's ability. How can a jobless person get a job before Monday God's ability how can a, a, a life I mean come on think about it people it's the ability of the spirit it's not by might it's not by power there is an ability bigger than your effort bigger than your strength He 
with God's ability. Help them, please. With God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. There are three rewards when you can press to manifest the ability of God. There are three rewards. Reward number one is to become a desirable personality. Nations will desire you because you carry that which is needed. They may criticize you, but they will desire you. There is too much darkness in this world for the careers of the anointing to be ignored. It has nothing to do with ministry. That's the key to being an ambassador. The nations will look for you when you carry this capital called the anointing. It will open gates. You will become Beulah. You will become Hefziba. The delight some land. You will become greatly desired when you carry this anointing. Listen. I have met men and women that no level of qualification in life would have given me access to them at this level. And I am amazed. I am amazed. I travel all the time. And I am humbled. People love me from regions to regions. It's not just that they love Joshua Selman. Many of them don't even know me. There is something. When you carry it, you become a joy of nations. When you carry that anointing, you become desirable. The anointing will make up for your weaknesses. It will make up big time. Listen. Listen. Years ago, there was somebody who wanted to go to NDA. And there is a height, there is a level to which if you are not as tall as that height, they will not take you. And the person who wanted to go there was lower than that height and when he went they dismissed him and he went and met the emir of zaria and the emir of zaria sent him with delegates that they should go and tell the commandant and the people that the emir has added his height did you hear what i said that the emir has added his height and they took him that's what the anointing does where you cannot enter Others are entering because they are intelligent. Others are entering because they have connection. When they come, they ask you, what do you have? And then you say, God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working. God's ability. God's ability. It's working. Listen, they may they can't ignore you for too long. It won't be too long, somebody will be confused. You will be needed immediately. It won't be too long, somebody will be sick. Demons are still on earth, which guarantees that you remain valuable. Listen, listen, for as long as there is a demand. For your anointing, you remain valuable. Business tells us until you have something, you are unnecessary. The anointing keeps you valuable forever. Stocks can rise and fall. Oil can rise and fall. But the anointing has equal value in every territory. God's ability. Listen. When you carry Naira, when you carry Naira, as soon as you get to London with Naira, Naira is no longer valuable. Is that true? You have to change it to another currency. When you travel to Israel, you have to change the pounds or euro to shekels to be able to use it. When you travel to Asia, you now have to change it to yen and the rest to use it. But the anointing, the way it works in Nigeria, when you get to UK, the 
there is no translation, there is no downgrading. Same sickness, same demons, same challenges. Listen, rich men fall sick. Rich men get confused. Politicians get confused. Have you seen certain businesses that are only for certain people? You only sell pampas for children. Abi, and an adult who is sick, an old man. A young man doesn't need pampas. Are you getting what I'm saying? You, you only bab somebody like me who always wants his hair low. If you want to shine it, let it shine. This is the way you do it. But somebody who keeps his head doesn't need it. There are certain things in life that are only for a group of people. The anointing is a master capital. It is relevant anywhere, everywhere, and at all times. You need it in business. You need it in your academics. You need it in marriage. Pursue me, students. You need it in your pursue me. No, 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 no. It's not just by the Y, the X. There is an ability. Let me tell you early enough. There is an ability of the spirit. Because you can write an exam well. And somebody can be marking your exam. And your script will fall down. There is an anointing that guarantees it remains there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Number one, it brings you. It makes you greatly desired. Number two, the ability of God gives you favor with men. Ah. Please listen to my message, Activating Seasons of Greatness. Favor with men. And it does that in three dimensions. It gives you access to people, access to resources, and access to opportunities. These are the three things any man needs to succeed. Access to people. Access to resources, access to opportunities. The anointing brings access. Not everything is solved by money. Access is greater than money. Access. 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 Hallelujah. It's God's ability. Listen. We went Benin. We went Benin recently for a meeting. I say these things to encourage you. After the meeting, some people came in from Asaba and they shared a very touching testimony. And um, the pastors came in, great ministry, doing great things for God there. When they came in, they said this that they believe it to be an angel, but they said somebody at a point where the ministry really needed the hand of God somebody just entered with one of our teachings and gave them and left never to see him again never knew him he was just somebody who came and dropped it and left and the pastor said when they listened to it they got all the information and as at the time they were talking to me they said they had over 200 of the messages and it has revolutionized the people there are people today who know me and love this ministry i have never seen them in fact 75 percent of those who get blessed by this ministry who have never set our eyes some of them is just one message is a mystery is a mystery if you think it's ordinary try it just go online and put anything i don't care what just put anything and invite people there is an angel there is an angel of the lord's presence that signifies the word of god and sends it like an envoy hallelujah during my during my birthday i think we had compliments from over 16 nations 16 nations of the world that have been blessed by the ministry i've not gone to most of them see that but then it's coming there are people who take these messages by themselves and keep spreading that's their ministry that is like a covenant they signed with god brothers and sisters tonight i want you to give up on your strength outside of god I'm reducing your journey towards destiny. You will waste your time for nothing. And find out after 70 years that this is not how it works. But when the ability of God is upon you, it will make you a sign and a wonder. You will have unusual access. Access to things you will not pay for. The anointing will pay for things for you. Unusual access. Hallelujah. 
and finally the third reward for the ability of the spirit working in you is ever increasing honor honor let me tell you what honor is listen honor is not just recognition honor is the discernment of your uniqueness and the ability to reward it if you are not rewarded for your uniqueness it's not honor you can be recognized but when a man recognizes you and is willing to invest in you that is honor to honor is to esteem you with respect and dignity and that you'll be rewarded for your blessings almost every day of my life there are people blessing me sowing seeds doing all kinds of things i sat down this morning and i was talking to the lord i said lord what are you doing to me this is more than i have bargained for as soon as we arrived this evening i just came in and when i came out i was almost sometimes you see me come and sit down and i just put my head down i'm fighting tears many times because i remain humbled at the hand of god the kind of workers that god has given in this ministry i think they they are even it looks like they believe in the ministry more than me tomorrow is a leaders retreat and sunday is the workers retreat committed people with their life like madmen you try to coordinate people like that and you see how easy it is of course they are trained of course there are principles but the force of cohesion is the ability of the spirit there is an anointing tonight listen i want everybody hearing the sound of my voice inside and outside you're going to make up your mind tonight and say lord i'm tired of this inferiority and complex it may not have been your fault to have come from the background you came from but it can change i love my father he's a great man and i see most of the things that happen in my life with him as ignorance but there was a time my father spoke to me and said i was going to become a failure in this life and his prayer is that i fail alone and not bring other people about four years ago my father got down on his knees and asked me to pray for him the anointing of the spirit will make you a desire of nations see forget about the meager criticisms you will receive it's nothing compared to the honor it's one is to one million it is totally negligible believe me this is what i know this is what my hands have handled and i came with this word tonight the anointing of the spirit is an equalizer it can cover for everything that went wrong so you no longer have an excuse no matter what else fails when you are anointed you still remain valuable the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is hear me the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference we are going to pray and tonight i want us to pray because many of us are going to receive there will be a lot of impartations in this place tonight especially for some of us who just came newly don't just come naively open up your heart let something fall on your life and change you forever I have found my servant please give us some 89 verse 20 psalm 89 verse 20 89 verse 20 help us media this ability that's why my secret place listen my secret place remains my greatest asset not ministrations the man of God, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, said something that blessed me one time. Listen. He said he was in a secret place praying and 
building and planning and something happened a big man supposedly a politician big man he came and spoke to him and said he wanted to see him and uh, he was with god one hour he didn't come out two hours he didn't come out three hours he didn't come out and the wife was already getting embarrassed that how can you leave a big man like this and they went to knock and one of his daughters went to knock and then he opened the door and she was saying daddy why attend to this man let him go and he looked at her compassionately and he said my daughter sit down he said do you know why this man is here he's here because of what i am doing he's not here because he likes me he's here because there is an anointing he needs he needs direction he needs a prophetic word if i stop doing what i'm doing he will not come back again let him wait that's why my secret place is the greatest song. you don't find me gallivanting around i'm like a herbalist you don't see me strolling around and then buying orange peeling it and just moving around no because you are gathered here tonight because you love god it is true but you have come to hear a man who you consider to be anointed and the only reason why you will keep coming and listening and the only reason why nations will keep coming is because of this ability the miracle service is by the corner there are sick people hiv cancer all kinds of oppressed people in this place right now there are families that have traveled kilometers to come and they are trusting God for a touch and so the greatest publicity of a believer men of God get this is the secret place that's the place you receive strength that's the place you receive innovation that is where you receive wisdom he says I have found David my servant and with my holy oil I smeared him with oil that activated an ability let's look at the next three verses 21 with whom my hand shall be established my arm shall also strengthen him the enemy shall not exact upon him nor the son of wickedness afflict him I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him 24 but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his horn be exalted he said thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side listen my prayer is that the least among us here will be as great as david but you know if you take it from the standpoint of intelligence there are people who are a thousand times more intelligent than you your advantage in the kingdom is the backing of the spirit please listen if you keep me side by side with brilliant people I may not have too much to say if you keep me side by side with intellectuals I may have something to say but maybe not much if you keep me around older people they have experience I may only have little to say if you keep me around people the world is full of cynical people even if I want to bless them they will not believe in me either because I'm not their tribe or because of certain parameters so my bailout is the anointing I got the anointing upon my life jealously I can lose everything but not his presence and the anointing that it brings it says but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his horns listen God can exalt the horn of a man God spoke to us that this is the season of the rain and the rain is already falling I tell you people's stories are changing God is taking people to newer levels of wealth newer levels of the anointing newer levels of the spirit inside and outside some of you are standing there are no seats standing by the fence listen you are face to face with destiny it's not by might it's not by power but it's by my spirit if you've never believed in the ability of god in you i want you to believe it ephesians 3 20 and then we'll pray ephesians chapter 3 please verse 20 help us media verse 20 
20. 320. Everyone read it together. Now unto him. Who is the him? The almighty God. Who is able to do. Say God is able to do. In me. Whatever he desires. God is able to do in me. God is able to do in me. Years ago when I saw these meetings. I, 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 I wouldn't say I didn't believe them. But it was difficult to explain it. See let me tell you something. There are times a vision can be so great there's no point trying to share it because nobody can understand but only be consistent when you begin to birth wonders then the world will know he's a mighty god and i want you to believe him he can change anyone's story god can make you the song of many like david the song upon the mouth of women and children, young and old. You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on the other world. All sing, all fountains of the deep, cry out, Kadosh, you are mighty on the other world. listen the Lord is giving me an instruction there are at least 15 people that I see a strong anointing is going to come upon them please let me have them outside here just those 15 people who are going to pray but the Lord is ministering to me because he's activating something it's a substance of the spirit upon those 15 people I'm about to pray right now and the angels of the Lord will separate those people mightily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Lord, where are those 15 people? Right now, in the name of Jesus, let the fire of God draw them out right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
right now, inside and outside. Shkapata, Sheketeteta, Emkratos Kalabat. I send the word in the realm of the spirit. Shekebarataba, Reketetekete, Sheketekelebosh. Let there be that activation inside and outside those portals. I open it in the name of Jesus. You can't stand it. No, you can't stand it. It's an ability from heaven. It's an ability from heaven. An ability from heaven. You will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. It's by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh yes, we activate it from the throne room. We activate it right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let there be an activation. I prophesy it. I stand upon this apostolic anointing. We activate it, O God. We activate it by the power of the Holy Ghost. God's ability is working in me. Is working in me. God's it's working in me. It's working in me. Sing it from your heart. It's God's ability. God's ability. Jesus. Come on, shout it in the name of Jesus. I declare that the power of the Holy Ghost is at work in my spirit. And tonight, I activate it. Lift your voice and pray. Working in me, working in me, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. The same power that raised the Christ from the dead. Working in me. In business, it is working in me. In ministry, it is working in me. In leadership, it is working in me. In family, it is working in me. Pray. Your life will be changed. It will be changed by the ability of heaven. 
is God's ability. God's ability is working in me. Hallelujah. 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 There are levels of favor only the anointing can bring. There are levels of increase only the anointing can bring. There are levels of grace and glory only the anointing can bring. I like you to pray that every door of favor you need to enter, may the anointing bring you into it. Lift your voice and pray. The distance between you and a major breakthrough is one door of favor away. stop you. I tell you, when the anointing is upon you, you are invincible. No power can stop you. You will break walls. You will climb mountains when the anointing is upon you. When men think you are born with, you will rise by an agency that they cannot understand. Hallelujah. 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 Just one last prayer point. I want you to insist. Listen. I want you to insist and say between now and the end of this month, you must have a testimony. Insist. Lift your voice and pray. Don't pray a prayer of cowardice. You are praying the will of God. Shabakata. By the anointing. Let it bring proofs. Supernatural testimonies. In my life. In my finances. In my body. Pray. In my academics. In my marriage. When it is by the Holy Ghost, it will work. If it is by the Holy Ghost, the ideas will come. If it is by the Holy Ghost, it will work. Listen to me. From today, I want you to walk in the consciousness that I'm anointed. It has nothing to do with a man of God. You need the anointing to burn ideas, financial ideas. You need that anointing for creativity. Your mind will not think independent of the anointing. You need that idea. You need that creativity. The anointing will bring direction to your life. It's God's ability. It's not your ability. It's God's ability. Hallelujah. Father, I pray in the name of your son, Jesus. From today, let no one here be ordinary. In 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying over you from the depth of my heart. And I prophesy to you that the mountains that have stood before you and the next dimension in your work with God, may the anointing of God turn them into testimonies. The believer is a possessor. The believer is a possessor. Blessed is she that believes, for unto her there shall be a performance. In the name that is above all names, everything that has stopped the grace upon your life from finding expression, everything that has stopped the grace of God upon your life from being recognized by those who you were sent to, I tear off that faith tonight in the name of Jesus. that has brought the flow of grace from the realm of the spirit to you it leaves heaven but it doesn't get to you every pathway in the spirit by whatever mystery that has been brought I open it right now in the name of Jesus Christ every spiritual inaccuracy in the name of Jesus Every missing the mark spiritually, every disalignment, everything that makes you get it but not complete, you receive things from heaven but you don't get the full details. Right now in the name of Jesus, I supply power to your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, some of you have dreams but you have an incomplete dream. Just when the information you need in the dream is about to come, then you wake up. You know it was of God. It was holding the key to clarity, but something covered it. Right now, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, may there be spiritual accuracy. I speak in spiritual accuracy. I prophesy spiritual accuracy. Everything that has made you timid and fearful and made you think you are nobody and that the anointing cannot find expression in your life. Tonight I curse that spirit. By the God of heaven I curse fear. I curse intimidation. I curse timidity. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I prophesy to you in this season, arise. Arise and shine. It's your season of the rain. Every dryness in your life, it is swallowed up by the rain. The Bible says, until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high. Isaiah 32, 15. Until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high. And then the wilderness will be counted for a fruitful vine. And a fruitful vine will be counted for a forest. Everything that has covered your glory. A man can walk with his glory covered. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the one who is the lifter up of men. By the agency of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. May your glory begin to speak from today. I prophesy may your glory begin to speak from today. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now keep standing. There are people here inside and outside. You've never made a serious decision to walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. Some at one point or the other, you may have come to commit yourself. You've answered an altar call before. But for some reason, things happen around your life and you went haywire. Tonight, God is giving you an opportunity. He's giving you a new beginning inside and outside no matter how far you are do not miss out the activities of the spirit are only for those who are part of the program of god those who have experienced the reality of the new birth wherever you are 
you want to say jesus come into my heart or you are rededicating your life you are saying from today i stop playing church i mean business with jesus inside and outside especially for those of us who came for the post you and me but adventure you've just been living your life the way you want but right now you are saying i'm making my ways right wherever you are leave your seat and come out here right now quickly i'll just count one to ten we're out of time one two inside and outside three we'll just count one to ten for time sake very quickly four don't let no devil stop you he's giving you a new beginning five six please clear the way for them seven god bless you keep coming eight stop you tonight it's time to make it right for real god bless you keep coming koinonia celebrate them motivate them motivate them the devil is a liar keep clapping motivate them they are coming from outside no matter how far you are please clear the way for them keep coming don't allow anybody stop you make your way to the front hallelujah the power of god is here right where you are in one minute i'd like you to talk to the lord you are not reciting a point from the depth of your heart jesus i have come for real no playing games go ahead and pray those of you in front here jesus i have come to you go ahead and pray jesus i come to you jesus i come to you no playing games no one leg in one leg out jesus i come to you those of us standing stretch your hands towards them don't just watch them pray for them from the depth of your heart pray as if you are praying for your son or your daughter or your mother or father Make sure you are talking to the Lord. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to lead you to pray this prayer. There is a strong anointing for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Many of you as you are praying this prayer, you are not feeling the Holy Spirit. The power of God will just come upon you. There is such a strong anointing for baptism of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Now those of you in front, say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you are the son of God I repent of my sins and I declare that I need you in my life from today I receive eternal life say it I receive eternal life into my spirit forward ever backward never I break away from every wrong association and I receive grace to live the victorious life in the name of Jesus Christ now let me pray for you father I pray for these ones I stretch my hands may the power of God come upon them in the name of Jesus Christ I'm speaking to you I lay my hands prophetically upon you and I declare in the name of Jesus that every weight every encumbrance that keeps you down the power of sin over your life is broken right now in the name of Jesus Christ and a fresh supply of grace from today such a hunger for God will come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ a hunger for prayer a hunger for the study of the word a hunger for fellowship in the house of God in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus Christ
Glory to your name, O oh God. You are the only one who deserves to be exalted. There is no man who competes with you. There is no man who can take your place. The Bible says, What is man that thou art mindful of? Not the son of man that thou visitest him. You have made him a little lower than Elohim, crowned him with glory and virtue, set him over the works of your creation. Miracle jobs, miracle jobs. The Holy Spirit is ministering to me. Releasing jobs for people. Releasing jobs for families. I said the delay, the delay of employment is coming to an end for many people. The delay of employment. In the darkness, Jesus. 
Jesus. Chains are breaking. You are risen from the dead, and you are Lord. <laughs> Light is shining in the darkness. Jesus. I'm seeing something strange that will begin to happen in the spirit. People will start dancing in the spirit. This is what I see. It's a mystery. It's going to happen by the spirit. Literally, literally dancing in the spirit. It's an operation of the Holy Spirit is releasing tonight. He's doing a miracle in the midst of his people. Let's just flow with what the Holy Ghost is doing. The miracle service for the next week has begun already. Dancing in the spirit. The Holy Spirit is moving people and influencing them. Influencing them by an ability that is greater. Shaboka Supra is Kalabariaga. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Forever you will be. A lamb upon the throne. I gladly bow. To worship you. Forever you.
Alléluia. 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 I just want you to lift your hands and just be quiet in his presence. Just lift your hands to the heavens. Everywhere inside and his glory is mighty in this place. Hmm. Just lift your hands to his glory. Just lift your heads. Of your presence, we your temple. We give you reverence. Now arise from your throne. And be blessed by our praise as we glory in your embrace. Let your Lord, we wait on you. For you are that river that flows from Zion, bringing healing, bringing salvation. We have come tonight, O oh God, expecting you to bless us. We are not in a hurry. We are not in a hurry. We will wait. Just keep your hands lifted. For in your presence there's fullness of joy and I swear shall be restored as we wait upon I will wait on the For in your presence there's fullness of joy and our strength will be restored for we wait upon the Lord yes we wait upon the Lord oh wait on him there is strength coming upon you we wait upon the Lord we wait upon the Lord Lord, we wait on you. You are drawing strength from the throne. Don't you think you are wasting time at all? This is part of the meeting. Already he's doing miracles. He's touching people by his anointing. 
touching people by his anointing. No man is able to respond to your situation. We're invoking an anointing that is greater than us, a power that is greater than us. I hear the Spirit say unto me, lay your burdens down. Lay your burdens down. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Lay your burdens down. The bills, the sickness, the frustrations. For I am able, said the Spirit of God. I am able, said the Spirit of God. Lay your burdens down. You have allowed your situations to overwhelm you. You have allowed your situations to becloud your faith. I am still able. I am still able, said the Spirit of God. I am still able. That's what the Lord is telling us tonight. I am able. You may not know how the miracle will come to pass, but I am able. I am able. That's what the Lord is saying. I'm moving ahead of you into that area of darkness. The Lord is giving people miracles, responding to your individual needs. I may not know what they are, but you came for koinonia. The God of heaven is meeting men at the point of their needs. I go before you. I go before you. I go before you. I'm seeing what looks like a cleaner. God is saying, I'm erasing your mistakes. That's what God is saying to someone. I'm erasing your mistakes. I'm erasing your past. I'm giving you a new beginning. I'm giving you a new beginning. A new beginning. Yes, we wait. Yes, we wait. The Lord is speaking to someone. I'm restoring your dreams and visions. That's what God is saying. I'm restoring. I'm restoring your dreams. Those encounters you used to have. Those supernatural encounters. You stopped writing for a long time. Because the visitation ceased. Tonight the oil is being opened and released unto you. It's like a fragrance. You are receiving it. It's coming upon your life. That's what the Spirit is saying. It's time to come back to the secret place. It's time to come back to the secret place. For someone the Lord is ministering. You used to spend time with me two hours every night. But you stopped. You stopped. There were all kinds of distractions. But the Lord is saying I'm still waiting for you. In that place of encounter. I'm still waiting for you. To show you great things. To show you great things. To show you great things. The Lord is speaking to a man here. You are an engineer. And he's saying do not give up. I'm about to step into your life. Do not give up. The Lord gave you a word by January that he will honor you. But as it is you've not seen anything. No projects. No work. But the Lord is saying I should tell you he's stepping in. Even in this glory. Stepping in in this glory. There are a number of ladies here. You really used to hear God with clarity. But all kinds of distractions came into your life and sincerely for a long time. You cannot say you really had God with a clear direction. But the Lord is bringing a restoration right now. That's what is happening. The hearing ears. God is opening your ears once again to start hearing the voice of the Spirit with clarity. I'm seeing, I'm seeing green grasses. That's what I'm seeing. The Lord is bringing freshness to your spiritual life. That life of staleness, staleness. Carrying yesterday's grace, yesterday's glory. The Lord is replacing it with something new and fresh
Thank you, Jesus. For you alone will do these things and glorify yourself. You have come tonight to experience His grace. The anointing of the Spirit is strong. Let's just flow with what God is doing. Lord, let no burden remain. Let no burden remain. Let no burden remain. According to your promises, I can stand secure. Would you carve upon my heart? This truth that sets me free According to your word, O oh Lord Be it unto me Verily, verily, I say unto you He that believeth on me Says the works that I do Shall also do Greater works than this shall be. Spirit of God, we thank you for your presence. is speaking a word to someone and he's saying the harassment comes to stop it comes to full stop tonight the harassment in dreams that spirit that comes to you to oppress you the harassment stops the harassment stops by the anointing of the Holy Spirit the harassment stops the harassment stops But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. expecting a touch you're already touching people in the name of Jesus please everyone just lay your right hand on your tummy this is the instruction God is giving let's just act lay your right hand on your tummy please no instruments everything just stop let's, let's just obey what the Lord is saying just lay your right hand on your tummy don't mind me this is what the Holy Ghost is telling me. Now, there are many of you who are going to be receiving strange graces for the next level. Supernatural direction. It will come like fire inside and outside. Right now, oh God, confirm your word with power. 
across this building and in every of the overflows right now just keep your hands on your stomach miracles shabakataya let it leave the heavens and come to the earth miracles miracles everywhere outside there is a mighty angelic walk it's like an impregnation that is happening outside strange signs outside in every one of the overflows strange signs of the spirit strange signs there are two ladies at my back in the worship team i see the power of god touching you right now strange signs that fire from your innermost being from your innermost being right now the lord is doing that miracle across the entire auditorium he's touching people let's just let him do what he's doing because this is the answer to your prayer this is why you have prayed you can't stand it lord let it leave your throne let it not be restrained in the heavens until it steps into the destinies of your people this is what they have prayed for they have fasted for it they have prayed they have fasted they have prayed they have fasted then let it come oh god let it come oh god the grace that can open strange doors strange testimonies strange testimonies shaka barakosia just the guitar just play minors just on the guitar go ahead in the name of the lord jesus christ not the bass guitar just keep your hands on your stomach the lord is doing a miracle the lord is saying he's stepping into the finances of families this is what i'm hearing that's why he told me let the guitar play because he wants to speak the lord is doing miracles in finance in the finances of many families right now i'm hearing favor financial favor i'm releasing financial favor you will hear the testimony it will start in your life it will flow to your family that's what the lord is saying where are they oh god touch them touch them touch them touch them bring performance to your word bring creation to your word financial miracles financial miracles the lord is saying it's time to move to the next level he's speaking to families it's time to move financially there is a mantle coming i'm seeing it like a dew it's like the dew of heaven if it comes upon you it's your family he's talking about if it comes upon you expect it don't just receive expect a testimony i don't know how it will happen but if you are affected by this prophetic word then your family is under the influence of a financial anointing lord spare not your hand stretch it from the heavens stretch it from the heavens release financial miracles that's what the lord is saying for many of you it will do you like a dream you wouldn't even know how it will happen supernatural connections strategic alliances by the spirit of god meeting the people that matter meeting the people that matter financial saviors financial helpers joseph of arimathias rising for you rising for you This is what you have prayed for. It is important that you receive testimonies. You receive miracles. There is a lady you traveled from the south. Like a, one of the Yoruba countries. You came all the way from the south. And you came asking the Lord to visit your family. Right now, the miracle is already beginning for your family. Such an invasion of the spirit of God. It's bringing light to every area of darkness. There is a brother, the Lord is speaking. He's saying, leave the wedding date at September. Don't move it. Leave it there. I will make it happen. It will be by my spirit. The Lord is speaking to a brother. Leave the wedding date at September. Leave it there. 
don't change it because of finances i will move and go ahead of you i will move and go ahead of you i will move and go ahead of you the lord is speaking to a woman here not a young lady a woman the dream that i gave you july 2012 is about to come to pass the dream that i gave you july 2012 july 2012 is coming to pass speedily july 2012 that dream that i gave you july 2012 is coming to pass a miracle is coming for a gentleman by the name musa Musa, a gentleman by the name Musa, the Lord is bringing a miracle for him right now. God is healing a lady of appendicitis. Appendicitis, that's what, that's what it is. You don't know, but you've been having severe pain. Severe pain is appendicitis. And the Lord is bringing a miracle right now. There is a man here you've been trusting god for promotion this is five years five years the lord says in the next three months your letter will arrive in the next three months and you will testify pay attention to the prophetic words there is grace to make them come to pass Blessed be the name of the Lord. Please be seated if you can. Just leave those under the anointing. Just sit if you can. God is doing strange things tonight. There are three ladies this will come upon supernatural laughter in a very strange way they can't control it i will worship you forever love you forever this god is too don't just bring people out like that please this is a prophetic experience they'll never be able to stop the laughter it's not it's not about what they want to do is a is a message i will worship you forever love you forever because i prophesy to all three of you let your family step into a season of laughter right now i release that anointing even as you are laughing i release it in the name of jesus there is authority in your laughter i declare by that authority in the name that is above all names in the name that is above all names the lord is bringing miracles to people glorify yourself oh god in the name of jesus listen we do business in this kingdom on the strength of mysteries mysteries are secret codes of operation he said the secrets of the lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants there is a way to make things happen in the spirit madam the witchcraft in your family dies forever it leaves your family right now i command that spirit you take your hands of her life in the name of Jesus Christ. James, 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 you are a visitor. Who is that? Is there someone like that? James. There's someone called James, he's a visitor. 
this is your first time of coming run the Lord wants to use you and bring a miracle to your family but look at me God needs to save you huh there are many things wrong with your life many things huh you are a bad boy God is going to change your entire life I'm not I'm not I'm not insulting you but there will be a miracle for you right now because the hand of God is upon your life but there is a spirit that is destroying you a spirit that is destroying you I cast that spirit right now let it live your life forever in the name of Jesus Christ father you can use anybody and anything you brought James out in the name of Jesus let me talk to one more lady Helene I'm hearing a name Helene is there someone with that name Helene come Who came with you? Came alone. You came alone. But why am I seeing a man standing near you? Listen. There is a spirit tormenting you. Let her go now. I curse you by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus. This has stopped her life, tied everything. I'm seeing everything under chains. There is a man standing. And this man is shouting and saying he's married to you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, that spirit lives your life forever. I bring you complete deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Are you married? That's it for your marriage. This is the reason why you're not married. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because this has been your prayer. This has been your desire. Anything you start. And I need to pray for you because your stomach is swelling. It's even embarrassing you. You are thinking it's because you are eating too much. If I don't pray for you, they will tell you something like fibroid is growing. And we have to pray. We curse it. It dies a natural death and goes back there. That person that comes to oppress you in your dream never returns to you again forever in the name of Jesus. And may doors open for you strangely. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our time is gone. Um, there are three things, three keys, three mysteries that can invoke the manifested presence of God. The manifest presence of God in the life of a man, in a ministry. I wanted to start a series on throne room encounters but the Lord asked me to talk about this number one is obedience we're going to be fast because I want us to pray God still wants to visit people my sister come this lady um, where the usher is standing that gentleman right one two three just your rope the third lady come no not you the lady at your back come Yes, she's the one. You come, please. Please save our time. Um, the Lord says I should prophesy to you that the rejected stone becomes the chief cornerstone. The rejected stone becomes the chief cornerstone. You may look at yourself and think you are nobody. You may look at yourself and think you are a weak person. This is what has been destroying you. You compare yourself with people. You have been crying simply because you are not doing well. You are not doing well in anything. And then people have been insulting you. And this has made you to feel so bad. While you were sitting there, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw a lot of misery. You see the lady crying. You see, let me tell you, there are all kinds of people seated in this place tonight. When you see people just sitting, you may not know what is destroying them, eating them up. Because the destiny that I see is far different from what I see right now. 
this is already putting a lot of pressure you love god but you know this sense of inferiority is killing you and eating you up the lord is saying i should tell you the rejected stone will later become the chief cornerstone lord jesus i pray for this dear lady there is nobody you cannot change there is nobody you cannot touch may the god that i serve visit you may he give you a new beginning i cut you away from bad friends and bad influences that make you try to do things to belong no leave them this night don't have anything to do with them in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ madam madam you are asking the lord to talk to me that i should minister to you i'm hearing your prayer come you are praying and your prayer is coming to my ears you are bowing your head and you are saying oh god please let this man talk to me what is the relationship between you and the woman sitting close to you she's my elder sister do i know come because i'm seeing that the miracle is not just for you alone but god is doing something for the family please stand up Kai, this woman has suffered seriously i look at this woman i'm seeing pains you are a very kind woman but what is this thing that makes you in trouble all sorts of trouble where is your husband what's he doing madam god needs to visit three things that's what the lord is showing me number one is your finances things are dying in your family that thing your husband is doing before he collects his salary he's already owing there is serious trouble you have cried about this thing it's even causing trouble for you people at home right yes, now sir. is that true yes your sir. husband is in in fact sometimes it looks as if you know you have to look at yourself and say am i irritating this man yes, because sir. of the way he's behaving you are even yes, suspecting that maybe he's having an affair with somebody yes, else sir. the lord is ending this confusion for you because you are a kind woman there is a spirit responsible for your tragedy this woman is a very kind woman but i'm seeing bad luck everywhere you go that's what i'm seeing there's nothing you do that works see let me tell you the power of god look at this family crying you know sometimes people think we just do these things because we are emotional and we're wasting time did you know there are people as they are sitting down there that's their last opportunity they are saying they will now go to a prophet or somebody and you will tell them bring hundred thousand bring two hundred thousand remove your clothes let me bath you let me do this and then after that one you add all kinds of things because i'm looking at this woman and i'm seeing a lot of struggle the same spirit causing you pain is what wants to destroy her life and destroy what is supposed to be an, a source of joy for her marriage huh we have to pray did you come alone they are crying I think for official assignment yesterday she told me about your story I supposed to go back to Abu Dhabi yeah my Changed three universities for my son. It's a drug addict. My first son, 23 kids. The drug addict. Where is he? He's in Abuja. It's not just that this boy is a drug addict. Ah, I don't like what I'm seeing, no because they want to convert this boy that's what i'm saying this is this is not a nice thing we're going to pray truly this woman has suffered but things are going to change your husband needs a miracle a big miracle do you know this woman is so kind she's not even concerned about herself she would rather not have clothes than for her children this is the kind of woman I'm seeing in the spirit. I sold my car to pay school fees. I sold my car to pay my son's. Can you work on this technical or Shadrach? Are you doing something wrong? I sold my car to pay my son's school fees. Your car? 
to pay who school fees? My son's school fees. The boy that is, oh, yes. look at this. Where is he? See, let me tell you. May God make this never be your testimony. You don't know what it means, the child you are waiting for, trusting that God will use him to wipe your tears and the devil just hijacks his destiny. Now, no car and the son is not even serious. I need to pray for you because you have not slept very well in days, madam. I'm looking at your sister and I'm seeing that you have not slept. I'm hearing you people saying, what, what is wrong with our family? Especially the girls, the ladies in your family. That's what you, you are the one who is saying that thing. You are telling her, I'm seeing you people in a discussion and you, you are telling her what is wrong with our family. All the ladies, they are virtuous, they love God, but nothing good comes out of it. And there are families like this, seated, looking at me. Is that true, madam? Yes, sir. Because I'm hearing a conversation and she's asking you. We are saying, seven, seven ladies. Seven how many men, of you? Seven of us. How, who is doing well among you? Nobody. You see what I'm saying? Seven ladies. Nobody is doing well. And all of them are serious and nice, virtuous ladies. They either get married to foolish men yes. or get married to all kinds of things. Yes, sir. Where is number four? Who is number four among them? It's her mother. Huh? Her mother. There is a miracle that God wants to give her because the Lord said that she's number four in the order is visiting her. My dear, please calm down. What happened to your mother in her marriage? The devil wants to bring it to happen to you. We are going to destroy. Their father is not with her mother. That's what I'm saying. We are going to destroy because this one so I will worship him forever. Love him forever because this God is too good. I will worship you forever, love you forever. Because this God is too good. Bring that lady who shouted. There is a miracle God wants to give her family. Is it okay if I just continue ministering, please? I know I'm supposed to share something, but the the thing God is doing now, God wants to talk to people. Let's let's just let him solve serious problems here. Yeah. It's your time for breakthrough. Stand up. You, come. I came all the way. An angel of the Lord was walking and said I should follow him. And he brought me to your place. Come. It's time for God to wipe your tears. You get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. You get the glory. You get the glory. Hallelujah. We don't kill, but I'm seeing someone's uncle dying. I'm seeing that man in a shrine concocting something and saying all the ladies would not marry. But I'm seeing like thunder striking him. That's what the Lord is showing. Help that lady right now. I'm seeing it happen. I announce our obituary if I be a servant of the Lord right now. May the earth open and swallow them. I speak it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Any man sitting on what belongs to you, any man sitting on your glory, Jimmy, God is bringing a miracle for your sister. I'm seeing your sister I'm seeing your face and I'm seeing her still flash is she here we come I didn't even know that she's here I'm seeing the Lord is saying he's bringing a miracle for her I'm seeing somebody clean footprints on the ground that's what I'm seeing you are moving and you are leaving footprints and the footprints, I see flies all around it. But I'm seeing someone cleaning, cleaning it. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. He says, I should tell you, behold, I will do a new thing. God will begin a strange walk in your life. And it's going to surprise you. 
a strange work. You have a desire for God. You sincerely love God. And let me tell you, the desire is not a waste. The same way your brother is loving God and being passionate. Look at me. It's not about perfection. It's about sincerity of motif. The, the journey to self-perfection is unnecessary and exhausting. What God requires is a sincere desire for me. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the anointing that will wipe the past of this lady's life, the past that eats you, I curse it by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus, may your conscience be purged by the blood. May the water of the word cleanse you. And may grace be supplied unto you for a new dimension, for a new level. I release this grace upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's go to Exodus 40, 33, please. Exodus 40, 33. We really have to be fast. <sighs> Exodus 40, 33. Moses wanted to once again experience the manifested presence of God. But he could not see that presence find expression until his obedience was perfected, complete. Let me tell you something. Half obedience is not obedience at all. Half obedience. You must obey to the latter. God is very meticulous about his instructions. Are we together now? And so God kept watching as they attempted building it. And then 40 verse 33 he says and he reared up the court round about the tabernacle and the altar and set up for the hanging of the court gate right read the last sentence if you have opened there he says so moses finished the work he finished building according to pattern obeyed as instructed to the latter and something happened in the next verse 34 it says, then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. The word glory is the Hebrew word kabod. The essence, the fullness, the expression of all that makes a man what he is or whatever deity. So when we say the glory of God, the effulgence of his person, right? Filled the temple, 35. And Moses was not able to enter the tent of congregation because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. When you are obedient, you will see the glory of the Lord in your life in most remarkable ways. You don't have to be a pastor to see the glory of God. You don't have to be a man of God. Once you are kingdom compliant, the sacrifice of complying with the principles of the kingdom then you are authorized to experience the glory you see you may not be able to see all of the clouds and all of that but the glory of god is made manifest in miracles strange testimonies dramatic operations of the hands of god that leaves you baffled everyone who sees you knows that this is by the finger of god that's somebody's testimony tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ grace to obey grace to obey you must cry for it complete obedience gives you access access to experiencing the glory number two the second key to experiencing the manifestation of God's glory is prayer prayer Matthew chapter 7 17 Matthew 17 verse 1 to 8 Matthew 17 Matthew 17 verse 1 to 8 this was the encounter that we call the transfiguration of Jesus we apologize for the inability of the media to switch for now please just bear with us. I'm sure they are working on it. And after six days, listen. Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John his brother, and bringeth them up into.
into a high mountain privately there are certain things in the kingdom that are not just for christians listen i know we have this idea that yes god doesn't want to hide anything from us but you see the dispensation of spiritual realities is according to the degree to which the spirit of god can trust you there are certain trust levels if you have not attained certain deep mysteries of the kingdom cannot be committed to you the bible says that he was one who called all the disciples but he took three and he says there is something i want to show you privately what did he show them privately a mystery the bible says and was transfigured before them listen he went to the place of prayer and that transfiguration began and the bible says his face did shine like the sun and his raiment was as white as the light and behold there appeared unto them moses and elijah talking with him listen verse 4 he says then then answered peter and said unto jesus lord it is good for us to be here if thou wilt let us make this and that and that and that you know and then he was just speaking and so on and so forth and then the bible says verse 5 while he yet spoke jesus was communicating with them in the place of prayer and he was trying to make an arrangement and the bible says behold a bright cloud overshadowed them and then behold a voice spoke out of the cloud and said this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased hear ye him verse 6 he says and when the disciples heard it they fell on their face and they were much terrified he says and jesus came and touched them and said arise and be not afraid and when they had lifted up their eyes they saw no man except jesus only listen there is a dimension of the glory of god you will never experience until the ministry of prayer brings you there. you can do every bible study you know to do you can read every concordance takes and so on and so forth there is a degree of open heavens the manifestation of the glory of god upon a man's life that is a direct answer to the ministry of prayer are we together now he spake a parable luke 18 verse 1 unto them to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint he spake a parable by prayer i don't just mean oh god give me tea give me bread that's just, that's petition 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 give me tea give me bread that's petition hallelujah the kind of prayer i'm talking about is the type that is said in the book of james effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man you see let me tell you there is nothing in your life that can substitute for the absence of a healthy life of prayer no matter your what level it will show when a man does not have an altar that is alive an altar of prayer the first thing that disappears is discernment discernment is lack of discernment is spiritual blindness what lack of discernment is to the realm of the spirit that's what blindness is in the physical realm the moment a man is close to the impulses of the activities of the spirit there is no effect of them. so things happen around our lives and we co we become victims we become um, um, victims of the effects of things that happen not the initiators of the faith the minister of prayer it was on the strength of prayer that when satan spoke to peter jesus looked at him and said get thee behind me satan and he said peter satan desired by discernment he desired to sift you like we he said but i have what what was the antidote prayed for you not discuss with him i prayed for you peter something is wrong with your discernment you didn't even know when the holy ghost was speaking to you you just said i am the christ and the spirit took over your voice you didn't even know the difference he said i pray for you because that's what is wrong the absence of the healthy altar of prayer it has numb your discerning ability there are many believers here and it's sad if you are a leader here and you're a pastor 
believe me if you don't pray you will your discernment will be dark and blocked one of the greatest advantage of walking in the spirit is access to feeling the impulses of the environment of the spirit the realm of the spirit is a real realm like the physical realm right when you get born again and you are filled with the holy ghost as you begin to pray the first thing that happens to you is an activation of the ability to interact with the atmosphere of the spirit it may start in dreams it may start in visions it could be dramatic but then your spirit listen to my message spiritual perception your impulses of the spirit right they be, you begin to pick signals there is danger uh -uh. god does not want me to go here he doesn't have to give you a reason lack of prayer has brought a lot of catastrophe not all these things you just stroll around 30 minutes one hour you just throw back it's called the effectual fervent you don't have time to fervent you add passion to it and as far as your passion can drive you that's the validity of the prayer time it's not about saying i'll pray for 10 minutes or five hours or eight hours you will pray until the nothing of the spirit releases you you are praying to burn things in the spirit not for the formality of religion the problem with the prayer ministry is that most people pray to feel spiritual and then maybe to intimidate themselves their little group so if i pray for 30 minutes you add 30 minutes to it and it makes you look spiritual no when you are a spiritual man there is always an object that drives you to the prayer part time and as you pray you keep checking the rewards of your victory as against the impulse and stop only when that victory is established this is where we miss it when elijah prayed was it just according to desire he wanted an effect first time he prayed only god knows how long that was he said go and check there was no result what did he do again we stop we stop because it's two hours we use earthly time to gauge certain things you see the 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 things we are contending against sometimes will require time and certain dynamics of spiritual operation to produce victory so if you have this idea that because you are you want to pray you just sense god wants to speak to you and then you pray for 30 minutes or one hour and you feel i am okay you see you are using a wrong timing the same way if you pray for eight hours just blindly and religiously and think because you prayed for eight hours it means you are making contact with the spirit no sir you pray according to the guidance of the spirit the spirit of god instructs you he navigates you your prayer there is a connection between a burden in the spirit and something in the realm of the spirit and you pray until there is a release when the servant came and said i've seen the sign elijah stopped at once he didn't say let me just continue since i've gone so far he stopped at once because prayer has a purpose once the purpose is achieved stop and move on in action brothers and sisters hear me especially for those who are workers those who are students those who are maybe business people and so on and so forth the the propensity for negligence in the place of prayer is very high are we together as a student you have lecture in the morning sometimes marathon lectures you are finishing in the evening you may have fellowship or you have certain things the truth is when you calculate it you find out that there's no time for quality prayer are we together now you see the most important thing about prayer is not necessarily praying eight, eight hours every day at your level you cannot pray eight hours every day you will be irresponsible in your activity the key is to maintain the fire and set periodic times when you compensate for the absence of the secret place. at least i expect everybody once a week you should be able to have some time when you can dedicate certain things and let me tell you in my life one of the biggest secrets of my prayer life is the mystery of night prayers i can tell you this as any man that prays the night time is when men men gain crowns in the spirit why do you think people die in the night when they sleep why do you think people sicknesses and diseases amplify in the night 
there are many mysteries we don't know in the body of Christ maximize your night time especially for many of us here because we are young establish things in the night don't crash into trouble and then you are wondering what to do in the day the daytime is for manifestation we settle realities in the night believe me it will not rob you of sleep it's just a little sacrifice of prayer that will bring you tremendous power i hear god clearly at night there are times i go outside and i just sit down everyone has slept i just sit down outside and i'm meditating Many of us have been cheated in the night time. The devil has studied your spiritual life and he has seen your area of vulnerability. Let me tell you something. Do you know there is something called slumber? I hope you know it's a spirit. Uncontrolled passion for sleep. You are passionate about sleep. I'm not just talking of resting. You know, you are tired and you are resting. Some of us is a spirit. No matter how you plan to pray, once it's night, even if you slept from morning till that time, you are just going to thank the Lord, Lord, I bless you and snore your way to the morning. It's a spirit. If no one has told you, something is wrong with your destiny. Many politicians and businessmen, their time of meeting is in the night. Witches and wizards and demons that do all kinds of things. You take advantage of the mysteries in the spirit. There are times and seasons that grant you access by grace. You see, if you do not know these things if you do not know these things you will you will miss out on a lot of things why is it called the lord's supper not the lord's breakfast not the lord's lunch why was it done in the night because there was no time no it was a mystery i pray for every dead prayer life here or every prayer life that is need driven Father, I'm coming before you now. The other time you gave me 5,000. Listen, if you really want to be strong and gain power and open the heavens, your prayer must be effectual. The key to effectual prayer is praying in tongues. There is a place for praying in your understanding. But I'm telling you, if you want to make an effect, pray in the spirit. For no man knows what is in the heart of a man said the spirit that is in that man so no man knows what is in the heart of god you don't just go around grumbling just praying sing one or two choruses which is good the key to prayer i'm telling you effectual prayer that builds you is praying in tongues spend time praying in tongues not just in english or in your language no there is a place for that pray in the spirit and please if you are here and you have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit correctly and seriously. I want you to know that there is something you are missing. Now I know I don't want to go into all the details. Our time is gone. We come from different churches, different ministries. I know we have different ideas. My goal of teaching this tonight is not to create controversy. But I love you too much not to tell you the truth. If you are not filled with the Holy Spirit, I don't know what you have been taught about it. We have teachings already there. You can listen to it. This is, there is a need for you to say, Lord, I need to upgrade. It's not just about praying, blah, 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 making noise. No, this is a spiritual language. The Bible calls it an instrument that helps our infirmities. What is our infirmity? The Bible says we do not know what to pray for as we ought to. But the Spirit makes intercession. Are we together? Don't say, I just love the Lord. I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine, honestly. I don't want to complicate my spiritual life. It's already complicated. This world we live is very complicated. The ministry of prayer is what will straighten that crooked path. He said, Elijah was a man of like passion like us. He said he prayed earnestly that there would be no rain for a space of three and a half years. Elijah locked the heavens and put the key in his pocket. He said, the, the heavens will not be opened except at my word not the word of any man of god that is sealed us these are men who took territories they 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 tore the heavens open one time he was up the mountain some enemies came you see that a man of prayer let me tell you if you're a man of prayer and any man goes to any shrine to concoct nonsense 
Oh, come on. Ask the prophets of Baal what happened to them. The Bible says they kept calling on Baal for money. Elijah said, maybe he's sleeping. Wake him. You know why many Christians are weak in the body of Christ? We love comfort to a fault. And, and we men of God are the ones who have destroyed people. I believe in prosperity, you know that. I believe in the blessings of God. But brothers and sisters, let me tell you, there is the sacrifice you must make for your destiny. The sacrifice of prayer. It's not all about having CDs. There are giants on every mountain. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? There are giants on every mountain. You're a pastor. You are not praying. You just share a revelation and you are happy. You believe you come on stage. No prayer, no periodic fasting, no strength. You just want to speak and let things happen. Do you think God is a herbalist? No. God is not a herbalist. Please, if you're a pastor here, pay attention to what I'm telling you. Except you want to joke around with your members. Or you are ready for empty pews. The generation we are in now, members are not ready to waste their time for nonsense again. Once they come and sit down and you are wasting their time, they will get up and they will leave, no matter how you pray. Pour one gallon of oil on your head. We need power. It takes prayer to access open heavens. Are we together? We add drama in churches for two hours. And then when he's about to pray, they say, everybody bow your head. As if we are mourning. Somebody just recites a prayer request for 10 minutes. They say, okay, thank you, Jesus, for answering prayer. And people get up. And that's why we keep getting weaker and weaker. No discernment. Spiritual things are flying around your territory. Nobody has the eyes to see and the ears to hear until it happens and everybody is confused. May that be, not be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Three enemies of prayer. Number one, excess food. Excess food. There is a name for it. It's called gluttony. Believe me, if you take what I'm telling you, your prayer life will step into another dimension. Am I saying you should not eat? No, not at all. Excess food, gluttony. There is a connection between food and the flesh. Number two, excess sleep. Excess sleep. The second enemy of prayer. Excess sleep. Number three, the third enemy of prayer, worry. Worry. Worry is a spirit. That's why the first assignment of worry is to bring you to a point of depression. Have you seen people with worry? I don't mean people who are just thinking real worry. They can't even talk. Ah, uh -uh, are you doing well? They just keep quiet. Because Satan's goal is to shut your mouth. He knows that there is power that is released if you open your mouth. He says, my heart is indicting a good matter. Yea, I speak of excellent things. He said, my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Psalms 45, 1 and 2. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Men ought always to pray. Brothers and sisters, pray. Turn and tell your neighbor, pray. Say, pray again. Say, pray again. Say, pray in the night. Yeah, pray in the night. You will, you will command tremendous power. There were times in Zaria, most of the people here will tell you, night time was the time people built strength. Ah, come on. You would see all kinds of strategies of prayer. Strategies. But, well, God is helping us. I'm just, I'm just challenging you. Brothers and sisters, please hear me. If you are married, husband and wife, pray. A praying husband and wife is a staying husband and wife. A lazy husband and wife is a divorced family already. It's a matter of time. Because every spirit, the devil will move across families. And he will come like the angel of death, pass through every city. But when he got to Goshen, he came. He saw that he saw that there was a fortification. What fortification have you put around your life? Job chapter 1, when Satan went before God, what happened? He met a man who made oblations for his children. It was a similitude of prayer. And Satan said, I came, but I could not access him. Have you not built an hedge around him? 
repeat after me a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian beauty and glory of God comes upon your life when you pray don't put prayer as an instrument of crashing this is the problem some of us pray but the entire scope of our prayer is God give me are you not seeing give me and we try to manipulate God and bend his hand that's why he gave me the blessings of praying in the spirit pray in the spirit stretch in the spirit you can put worship songs your earphone or something to create the atmosphere pray in the spirit even if you cannot pray in the night early hours of the morning why not put a little worship song charge your spirit sing one or two songs blast every mountain before you in tongue and walk out in the day and you become a living miracle you are walking with the heavens open and what looks miraculous for others becomes your atmosphere men will sit down and plot evil you will walk on it as if satan does not exist ah, those are the people who will not be affected by the arrows that fly by day not the noisome pestilence there are people who will be affected you are a christian but you will still be affected but there are those who are immune i pity the native doctor that calls my name in any time it's not just that it, if all that happens is that it does not work i'm still cheated for calling my name that charm and the native doctor was born to ashes when elijah finished proving his point he said no 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 no. if we stop here that's not all go and meet those prophets kill every one of them as a testament that you don't try god the devil has mocked some of our lives and we are just watching groaning for counseling and discussing some of you this night you will lock your door and say i'm offering my phone lord it must change families don't pray they discuss they call people to come and gossip but they never pray we meet people for counseling we go and meet babalao we go and meet all kinds of people but we never pray we pray as a last resort oh god i come to you you too you have seen what we have done we have made all of our efforts whereas we should come before god there was a king in the bible who died because he didn't seek god it was a taboo to seek other things when you have problems we depend on uncles if i talk to my uncle he will do this let me tell you never take action on anything until you have prayed about it especially major decisions in your life no matter how convinced you are pray because there is a way that cement right unto a man but the bible says the end thereof i can't tell you how many things i wanted to do plans i had physically speaking they look fabulous but when i went to the place of prayer there are many things we wanted to do as a ministry i would discuss in our leaders meeting oh we are going to do a and b i will go back to god if it's silent i come back they know already the moment i say we'll do a thing and i'm silent about it they know god has do you have the courage to keep quiet if god is silent do you have the courage to stand still if God is not moving? If the cloud did not move, they did not move. If it stood still, stand still. The true benefit of prayer, not this thing people do just for spirituality, just to show that I'm a man of prayer. People bend and deceive themselves to show they are praying. That's not a sign of prayer, that's nonsense. Those are the kinds of things that make God look like an idiot. Prayer is serious business. And it commands victory say i receive grace to pray say it again i receive grace to pray grace to pray take charge of your atmosphere there are giants on every mountain if they didn't spare jesus they will not spare you i guarantee you make no mistakes do not think they will not come for your business or your family or your children you have the testimony of our dear mother do not think they would they would the devil will attack anything that can be attacked if it does not happen it's coming i guarantee you in the name of the lord the bible says after the temptation he left jesus for a season for a season he came through peter jesus detected him he said ah you caught me the next time he came through judas the son of perdition jesus allowed it to be so that scriptures will be fulfilled not because he was not ready to overcome go speak from the heavens and the earth will hear 
Oh, speak from your throne, and I'll hear from the earth. My altar is calling you, oh God. My prayer is calling you, oh God. Oh, speak from the heavens, and I'll hear you from the earth. Oh, speak from your throne. And I'll hear from the earth For my altar is calling you Oh God My secret place is calling you Oh God Take my place have an altar that calls him do you have a secret place that calls him when there are men who seek your flesh and they are invoking upon altars is there an altar that answers or are you just loitering around hoping that life will work men have died because they did not have altars let me tell you please play no games I'm not scaring you lady don't think you will just get married because you are beautiful Take back your priestly robe tonight and go back to the place of prayer. There is an effectual fervent prayer. There are many brothers. You will not just be established because you are a graduate. There are giants on every mountain. A man can look at you with his saddy spirit and vow that you will not move forward. It takes prayer to move mountains. By the grace of God, this ministry is moving as if the devil does not exist. It's not because the devil does not want to destroy this ministry. There is a mystery. There are, there are mysteries like cornerstones that we have found and put around the boundaries of this ministry. Number three. The third key to carrying and releasing the glory and the manifest presence of God is worship. The last scripture and then we'll continue next week during the miracle service. 2 Chronicles chapter 5 We'll read verse 13 and 14 Just two verses Very interesting This was the dedication of the temple When Solomon had built the temple There was a sacrifice upon the altar And he was about to dedicate the temple Hallelujah 2 Chronicles 13 and 14 It came to pass Listen As the trumpeters and singers were what? As one, making one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord, saying for He is good, for His mercy endureth forever, that what? Then the house was filled with the the cloud filled the whole house right the next verse so that the priests could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud for the glory of the lord had filled the house listen in 2005 i conducted a personal research jewish worship and the mystery of God's presence I was obsessed I wanted to know what the secret was how will a man just step into a place and the atmosphere just changes physically as if he carries a dimension of glory I wanted to find out because I saw this happen in the lives of the Jews I saw this happen to people who were associated to the Jews like Benihim and so on and so forth they would just sing and worship and before you know it, the glory will fill the place. Oh, I wish we had time. We'll take it from here next week. But brothers and sisters, worship is a mystery that compels the presence of God to be made manifest. Worship is a mystery. The third key to 
activating the manifested presence of God here and now in a place worship it's not enough to just be obedient as powerful as prayer is there is a dimension many of us are missing in our spiritual life worship the Bible says in Psalm 100 it says that we enter his gates with thanksgiving then it says and his courts with praise he said come before him with singing the protocol to meeting him is song singing come before him it has nothing to do with the quality of your voice it has nothing to do with your music proficiency although that's an added advantage however you cannot give an excuse that because i cannot sing i cannot raise songs and incense of worship unto god next week i'm going to be teaching us the protocol of acceptable worship not every kind of worship is acceptable the proof that your worship is acceptable is that his glory responds to it i'll share with us the mystery of cain and abel a type of the man of the spirit and the man of the flesh the bible says both of them they came and they offered sacrifices of worship right and abel gave of his firstlings and his fatlings and cain just gave up the vegetables and all of that and then the bible says how that the sacrifice of abel rose up to the heavens and that of cain did not rise up and cain killed abel when god met cain he said where is you know where is abel he said am i my brother's keeper and then he began to challenge him and he said that if he did what was right paraphrasing would his sacrifice not be accepted sacrifice of worship is not just about singing there is a protocol that leads to acceptable worship the first key to acceptable worship is found in Romans chapter 12 from verse 1 I beseech thee brethren by the message of God that ye offer your bodies that's the first key that ye offer your bodies not your songs not your voice not your offering not your oblations not the lifting up of your hands like the morning sacrifice above and beyond that there is a protocol there is a system that must precede your songs he says your body must become a prototype of what you want to offer with your lips and then hebrews 13 gives us a picture of the fact that worship and praise is sacrificial so the first is there must be death we explain that the second is that it must be a sacrifice it says let us offer unto god the sacrifice of praise which are the calves of our lips he calls your sacrifice the calf of your lips in the similitude of that which was done in ancient times in the temple he says when you worship god it is in the similitude of the killing of bulls and rams he says offer the calves of your lips a sacrifice that is acceptable unto him hallelujah that's why we took our time to worship and as we began to worship god began to respond and touch people the spirit of prophecy came upon us and we began to minister three short things that i've given you tonight that control the manifestation of god's glory you can't argue it they are not they are not they are not opinions they are the spiritual formula for accessing the glory of god number one obedience number two a a consistent life of effectual prayer hallelujah number three the incense of worship oh let my praise rise before you the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice these are all mysteries the mystery of the lifting up of hands the mystery of repetition as you sing you see a lot of people sing it the jews used to sing songs one line they would sing it for hours just like you see many people in many religions it's, it's not an enchantment there is something they do the mystery of repetition you see that happen in the songs that the psalmist wrote their response will be for
hallelujah thank you praise the lord for he is good and his mercies endure forever or for his mercy shall endure ever faithful ever sure and so he will say a lot of things and then they will keep responding listen they didn't write songs as musicians they wrote songs as spiritual men they didn't have that skill to compose songs it was as it was delivered to them it was delivered in a particular way that if they sang it it will make god respond in a particular way for instance that formula you are good and your mercy endures forever you know i've studied it i found out that every time the nation of israel wanted deliverance that was the song they sang it had to be that line they invoked the goodness and the mercy of god two things that we quote every sunday they are following us and we never see it because we don't believe them the goodness of god and the mercy of god it was the goodness of god that passed before moses i will let my goodness a dimension of my glory called my goodness pass and then his mercy he says for it is of the lord's mercy that we are not consumed hallelujah we're going to rise and pray just for a few minutes and say lord i want to see your glory in my life i'm tired of just being a christian coming to church i want to begin to walk in the glory of god lift your hands and begin to pray hallelujah lift your hands and pray father i desire to see the glory the manifest presence of god in my life can you pray please go ahead are you praying i desire to see your glory in my life lord i'm tired of a barren christian life I receive that grace, supernatural grace, supernatural grace, supernatural grace. I want to see your glory revealed in my life. Let the eyes of the blind be opened through my hands. Let the tears of the deaf be unstopped. Let my life represent breakthroughs, signs, wonders, miracles. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one grace for unusual obedience lift your voice and pray grace 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 for unusual obedience those outside make sure you are praying grace for unusual obedience hallelujah hallelujah number two please i'd like you to pray if your prayer life is dead on its way to death don't feel condemned don't feel embarrassed but i'd like you to pray and say lord bring it back alive my prayer life at every level you can move higher lift your voice and pray the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous are very much Make sure you are praying. Lord, I'm tired of lack of discernment in my life. I'm tired of acting carnally. I'm tired of acting just by my sensory impulses. I pray my way to divine secrets. I pray my way to divine strategies I pray my way to divine secrets Hallelujah Hallelujah Let's add one more prayer under the area of prayer You are going to pray Many of us see things and hear things but there is no grace access to understanding so there are so many things god is showing us but we are deaf of understanding so we do not have the grace to interpret or to interpret correctly lift your voice and cry say grace to understand he said understand that what thou readest is one thing to see is one thing to have a dream 
it's one thing to hear God speak but it's another thing to understand the working knowledge of the revelations you have received you need it for your marriage you need it for your ministry you need it for your job you need it to know where God wants you to be part time understanding understanding Lord I'll not just have dreams I receive understanding I'll not just hear your voice I receive interpretations accurate unemotional interpretations of spiritual reality hallelujah hallelujah last prayer point lord teach me the art of worship worship in a way that can bring your presence to abide and remain in my life lift your voice give me songs from heaven give me songs in the night melodies of the spirit let me hear the songs of angels let me hear the sound of the spirit give me the songs for every season the songs to sing my way into the glory to sing my way into breakthrough to sing my way into healings and miracles to sing my way into prophecy to sing the songs of the spirit hallelujah hallelujah next week i'll teach you briefly before i begin to minister during the miracle service listen pay attention to the songs that god brings in your life seasonally there are times the spirit is the one who recommends the song you will use in your worship stay there don't be rebellious those songs have authority upon them to bring a dimension of breakthrough in the last maybe three months the lord speaks to me through songs i have i have gotten so many songs are we together now pay attention music is one of the languages in the spirit you must pay attention to the impulses the sounds sometimes it could just be the line of a song you are glorious so glorious in your ways that's what lands upon your spirit don't just guess your song and say the song is not in my tribe. No! There is authority in that song. It's like a sword. It's an instrument of warfare. You keep singing it. Sometimes for hours. Are we together now? Yeah. That's how I get fit. Let me tell you. I can give you testimonies of personal breakthroughs in my life as a result of certain songs. So glorious in your way. No other song will do. You just keep singing it. You get up in the morning and that's the only song you hear. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. That may be a song in your spirit. You may just receive it. God is telling you, I'm coming too for you. But you see, the problem is, many of us do not know. You are supposed to take it. Don't stop singing it. That's your instrument. That's a pass in the spirit. But we drop it and then raise all kinds of choruses in our languages and we are just singing and dancing and god is saying no there is acceptable worship are we together there are times you see us in koinonia here two weeks three weeks when i come up stage or the worship team we keep repeating certain songs there is authority upon the songs we stretch them until the grace that they came with from heaven is delivered unto the people then the songs will rest pay attention to songs everyone can receive songs whether you're a musician or not it's a product of alignment not just musical accuracy you can edit it but you can receive a song hold on to it and sing your way to an ending breakthrough it was the playing of the string that casted out demons right from david there was a sound that the spirit heard he said there is as it were many voices and none of them is without effect your worship is an incense it's a language that calls the presence of god lift your hands and let me pray for you 
in the name that is above all names let everyone represented here begin to walk in dramatic signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ the barrenness in your christian life that makes your revelations mock you because there is no grace for performance i command it to come to an end right now in the name of jesus christ that for every dimension of spiritual reality you communicate there will be grace to demonstrate its validity here and now in the name of jesus christ i pray for you everywhere you have tried to activate the operation of the word and have not gotten results go back now and see the strength of the almighty god upon your life in the name of jesus christ where you laid hands on the sick and nothing seemed to happen i empower your hands you go back and you will watch dramatic miracles in the name of jesus hear me the supernatural dimension in your life must be clearly made manifest for the world to listen to you they are not waiting for the explanation of the sons of god they are tired of noise there must be something supernatural you must desire the operation of the spirit to be activated in your life you must covet earnestly and desire it that lord my life will become a host to your glory that it will be a privilege for people to receive me because they know as they receive me they give space for the glory they will bless you someone sows into your life and gets a, a million fold return do you think you will sow again yes because he's sowing in the glory you pray for somebody and ripple effects of unending testimony it will motivate you but if the only thing that consoles you spiritually is that maybe you are understanding bible or you are going to heaven your spiritual life is barren hallelujah may you begin to command undeniable results i pray for you everybody connected to this ministry and all those listening online the thousands of people we have all across the world i minister to you by the anointing of the spirit may you begin to be commanders of miracles strange results in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray for you whatever you lay your hands on i don't know what you are trusting god for but i'm praying that between now and next friday some of you before friday your requests will be answered in the name of jesus christ please believe me when i pray for you i say it again there are many of you between now between now and friday the testimony you are waiting for you have prayed you have fasted i don't know how it will come but may the god i serve make it happen for you in the name of jesus christ lift your hands and give him glory please keep standing we're almost done by the grace of god next week is our miracle service please listen now i want to see how by his grace we'll have an extensive time to really really minister to the needs of people sometimes we come we are constrained with time i want to see how we can really minister to people please invite all your friends and your loved ones it's going to be fire in this place on friday praise the lord hallelujah it's going to be fire write your request everything that has made you cry bring it before the god of heaven let's flog it out here on friday and the devil must bow he must give you to your life and please make sure that your loved ones those who cannot come please come with something as a point of contact for them hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah if you're worshiping with us for the first time wherever you are while standing please i like you to make your way to the front we want to bless you this is koinonia inside and outside first time worshipers god bless you honor them koinonia please keep standing everyone we'll be out of here in a few minutes thank you thank you for coming can we honor them can we celebrate them there are a number of them coming from outside thank you hallelujah hallelujah wow can you keep clapping may god bless all of you who brought them may god bless all of you who traveled from so far you will never be the same never be the same in the name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord thank you so much um gentlemen and ladies for coming
This is Koinonia. We are here every Friday. It's a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. We thank you for coming. I have one guarantee that your life will never be the same. I assure you. Your life will never be the same. You will go back and you'll be amazed to see the changes in your life. Remarkable manifestations of the Spirit. Especially for those of you who traveled from far. Some of you are pastors. Some of you are leaders. Some of you just love the Lord. You came. Others were invited. May the Lord bless you. We are here every Friday. Next week Friday is our miracle service. You can come prepared. Invite your friends and loved ones. 5.30 we are here. The Lord is going to be doing great and awesome things. We love you and we thank you. There is a grace upon this house we want to release upon you. I want you to receive it with all your heart. Let's stretch our heads towards them. Father, bless them. Prophesy over their lives. We pray for your spiritual lives. You're stepping into unusual levels of progress in the spirit. Accuracy of understanding, access to the mysteries of the kingdom, powerful prayer life, fresh grace for the journey. We pray for the works of your hands, your job, your school, your business, whatever it is that you do. May the hand of God come upon you. You will prosper on all sides. We call for favor into your life. In the name of Jesus, may the presence of God mantle you and go with you and open strange doors for you. In the name of Jesus, I bless you in the name of Jesus. May the hand of the Lord rest upon you. You will go and return with strange testimonies. The challenges that you came here with, they drop here and they never return with you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Once again, I'll just ask.